all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you i hope you guys have been a good day uh, i just wanted to make this video to say uh, happy new year for everybody and for sure we start from those who live in asia uh, because um, soon within maybe 60 minutes from now or even some of them they celebrate already the, 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 the new year so we wish everybody a very great new year to come and remember that this is the year of the lord not the year of us <coughs> we are just visiting this earth and year will come after year and time will go fast and we will go again there is one thing to remember that the new year is not a party night it's a, it is a day it's a time you go and you look at what you did for the last year to see what you accomplish where is where was your failure what you should fix what you should not do again what you should do so let us not to make as many you know silly people who make this year or this evening just a party and dancing and uh, uh, which have nothing to do really with the occasion <coughs> uh, for sure I'm not against people to be happy and um, you know you can be happy but um, you have to be uh, a person of reason uh, drugs and drinking have nothing to do with the Christian uh, uh, behavior and uh, going out spending the night uh, wearing very revealing clothes and uh, you and maybe you get raped by some gang and then you wonder why somebody he attack you you come back at uh, 5 a.m. in the morning and you are drunk and then you wonder why you got shot criminals are out there out there waiting for a victim so uh, be careful and don't be don't be a fool you know don't be a fool uh, for us as a Christians we don't do what the Muslims do right now if you go in Europe you will see that 99% of the Muslims in night club women and men uh, they speak too much about God but they are the last one to be people of God if we go to the Middle East you will see what they do today you will not believe it they speak too much against Christmas because the Christmas does not bring them drinking and dancing and etc but in New Year evening is the night of lust for 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 the Muslim nations because simply they do not know Christ and those who do it this way they do not know Christ so I wish that's everybody <coughs> celebrate the new year by celebrating the Lord and not by lust uh, you know last time I uh, I went uh, to a place where I have such a noise it was long long time ago and I could not take it to be inside for even five minutes it was a smelly noisy disgusting people they sweat um, people smell I mean it was like the the, the cave of the devil literally and i did not find myself there to be staying for a second you want to enjoy your new year with your family i advise you to do so because your family is your uh, uh, is your shelter uh, drinking with the friends going crazy and doing stupid things you will end somewhere you will end in jail you will end uh, dying you will end etc and uh, avoid always associating with the wrong people most of people they are victims of being with the wrong ones don't jump in a car you do not know people who they are because if the police stop you and they found with them drugs they, they, they might accuse you that this is your drugs they will throw it in the floor of the car and they will say we have nothing to do with it maybe it's him so be careful my friend don't put yourself in the wrong place in the wrong time <laughs> the bible says we have to be vigilant and the devil will be happy to take you down and there is many they go down every day by the hand of the devil but because they give him a chance somebody saying celebrate the new year of the birth of God that because if you're ignorant my friend God will never never was born in a such a date Jesus said before Abraham I am and you are the Muslim you say to me show me one verse where it says Jesus is God and here we go you, you just brought that yourself however why you Muslims celebrate the birth of your prophet when he never asked you to do so? 
same time how your private birth happened to be in November this year but as I know he was born in May or oh, sorry in April 22nd so you Muslims you, you cannot even keep a good calendar you stole the calendar of the Arab and you play with it and now the calendar became the most lousy stupid calendar ever your your prophet uh, uh, his his birthday sometime in January sometime in July sometime in December you name it so don't talk about that for us we don't celebrate the birth we celebrate Jesus for Jesus is always exist the Messiah the Lord in the beginning it was the word and the word the word was with God and the word is the God and the Messiah himself he confronted to us in many places saying I am the first I am the last and the Bible says everything was created by him and for him so it's very funny when the Muslim they say to us show us one verse saying that Jesus is God and where he said worship me very naive very silly my friend go and get busy with your God who have two hands in the right shoulder I want you to draw a picture of your God before you started speaking about celebrating the birth of Jesus see how silly your God have you ever heard of a God he have two hands in the right shoulder I mean go and see what what is the birth defect your God have can you explain to me the birth defect your prof your, your God have to God have two hands in the right shoulder why so before you speak about perfect amazing Lord go and look at your funny Lord do you see this bird do you see how beautiful your God is not beautiful because imagine if this bird he have two wings in the right shoulder and in the left there's nothing have you ever heard of a God he have one shin but he don't have two what, what happened to the second one the alligator ate it he was in a in a expedition in in the jungle don't talk don't talk you have the most funny stupid idea of God have you ever heard of a God he ride in a rooster I mean I heard of a cowboy I heard of riding of a donkey riding a horse even riding a cow but riding a rooster I never heard of that except Allah and yet you are talking about God since when God he ride in a rooster at least make at least make it a turkey can't you make it a turkey God he sit in a rooster and the rooster he sneeze and Allah he said to him bless you <laughs> that's you that's that's God see this is the real God now. so you're trying to make fun of the Christians but you have the most funny stupid idea of God ever should I continue look the Muslims you know look I don't know even what are you talking about for sure you do not know what you are talking about have you ever seen guys a Muslim he knows what he's what I'm talking about I asked them is your God a spirit they so no yes he's his spirit I, I, I say are you sure they go check after 15 minutes they come back to me they says oh we found that God is not a spirit <laughs> I never saw a Muslim he knows what I'm talking about because you are a donkey you spend your life bowing your ass down to a God you do not know who is he go study Abdul that's why you do not know what I'm talking about I did not know what are you talking about. No, you didn't know. You didn't know. Do you want me to show you that your God have two hands in the right side, brother? Even though I did not mean really to speak about Islam, but just let, let, let me show you. Let me show you. You are making fun of the Christians. Huh? I mean, you have the most funny, stupid idea of God. Look at this. Look at this madness. <clears throat> Do you see it, Abdul? This is how beautiful your God is. A God who have a birth defect. He placed his hands, but let me ask you, did Allah choose to have his hands there or it was a mistake, brother? Hmm? When you say to me that your God have two hands and both of them, they are in the right side. I advise you to take your God and do a surgery, you know? Take him, take him to Thailand. You know they 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 make uh, they make surgery for gays and it's, you know uh, put Allah in the clinic and he will, they will fix him. 
hmm? you are talking about God this is God how he can walk don't you think there is something wrong with the balance here two hands in the right side what about what about the left side and Allah have a shin and have one foot why he is a, a, a what, what even the kangaroo have two foot how he can walk he jumped like boing 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 rasur I mean if I if I draw your God now people they would die laughing anyway it is I don't want really to talk about Islam this day I know you guys that's uh, uh, you are enjoying the time with your family uh, but the Abdul always they brought those garbage to themselves I mean don't 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 try me you are no match you are no match and this is why you Muslims you avoid debating me and you know that the only excuse Muslims they have to avoid debating me Christian Prince saw your face so your face Christian Prince your God Allah he never showed his face he never even farted at Muhammad did your Prophet Muhammad even heard the fart of Allah how in the world someone want to tell me about God but he never heard him he never spoke to him he never heard his fart Oh, we have a guy, his name is Jibreel. He used to bring delivery. Talk, talk. Who is this? I'm Zibreel. Okay, who, is, who are you, Zibreel? I am the middleman of Allah, and I am Zibreel. I am the white angel. I deliver you to a message. Let me squeeze you first. Okay, squeeze me. Squeeze you? Sound like a gay. What squeeze me, squeeze you? An angel of God coming to deliver a message. What squeezing is about? And after Allah, he squeezed Muhammad three times. Did Muhammad get it? No. Still, he I have no idea what's happening. Go, my friend. Go. Go listen carefully to the stories about your prophet, how he became a prophet. I never heard of a prophet being squeezed like this in order to be a prophet. And after the squeezing, still, he have no idea what's going on. He went home and he said to his wife, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? Obviously, there's something wrong with you. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. You see, the Muslims are forcing me to not uh, if, uh, just to stay in the... But, the, you know, what I want to say to everybody, Islam is the most silly, stupid cult ever. And you have to be literally mentally ill to believe in such a cult. God who promised me a lot of vagina. Hmm. The Muslims are... They, they say that those who they are celebrating a New Year, dancing, shaking their ass, which have nothing to do with the Christianity anyway, they are lousy, but the fact they are number one buyers for drugs and alcohol in the world. Every year in Saudi Arabia, hundreds of people die because they drink perfume. Look how much addicted they are to alcohol. If they could not find alcohol because it's forbidden there, they drink alcohol. They drink, they drink perfume. You believe it? So they have an addiction for... Uh, uh, Right hand is what? Right hand is what? Metaphorical? Okay, Abdul, go right now and type in YouTube, Allah has hands, and let us see if it's metaphorical or not. Stop being an idiot. Stop being an idiot. All Muslim scholars, including your prophet, says that Allah have hands and they are real. Not metaphorical. Try something else. Metaphorical. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, uh, please, you know, those who they are going to celebrate and those who they are celebrating a new year, please be be reasonable and be smart and don't associate with the bad ones. Don't uh, drink, you know. Uh, you know, drinking, drinking, it can be fine as anything in life. You know, you can drink coffee, you can drink tea, but anything you drink too much of it is bad. Drink, drink too much water, you will be drowned, right? Drink too much coffee, you will have a blood pressure and you might die. Uh, 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 you might have a heart attack too. Uh, anything, too much salt will kill you, too much sugar will kill you. Anything of it is too much. That's why the Lord, he said, little of it will bless your heart. Little. Little. All right? And actually even scientists prove that little of alcohol, little, is good for the heart. Especially for those who have a heart problem. So, little, not a lot. Don't bring a ball and you want to finish it before the end of the night. Don't do that. I have a ball of wine. If I say to you, I have it for more than a year, someone, he brought it to me as a gift, actually, more than a year ago. 
until now I have actually more than maybe 60% uh, of it a year ago or actually more you know uh, your joke is worth celebration of a new year okay now uh, look at the Muslim comment and you will laugh you know don't talk about the toilet my friend your 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 religion is about all of it is about the toilet isn't it your prophet who made tons of thousands of stories about what to do before you enter the toilet is it true that your prophet he said before you enter the toilet you have to say a prayer otherwise otherwise shaitan will play with your anus why Muslim they brought this to themselves is it true that if you don't say certain prayer shaitan he play with your anus I wonder how many times Shaitan he played with your anus already. I want you to make a video, please, with show with slow motion. Prove it to us that if you enter the bathroom, because we, this is a miracle of Allah. I want you to put an X-ray machine under your ass when you go to the bathroom, but don't say the prayer of Allah and let us see what Shaitan will do in your anus. Prove it to us, right? Happy New Year, everybody. What about myth in the Quran? There is no myth in the Quran. Everything in the Quran is true. Everything. As an example, the Quran is the only book come with the conclusion that women, they have testicles in their breast, in their ribs location, which is found to be true. This is not myth. What are you talking about? If you don't believe me, go to any beach in the Middle East. Right now, you know, uh, I wasn't planning really to speak about Islam, but the Muslims are forcing me what I can say. You know, please show respect to uh, to Allah and His Prophet. Allah is the only one who knows everything. Do you know that the Quran says that? Do you know, Allah He tried to explain why the birds, as long as we have a bird in front of us on the screen. Do you know what the Quran says about birds? He said, "Do you know how the birds stay in the sky?" Muslim they say how he said Allah hold it from falling down <laughs> oh boy your God he never heard of something called wings it is Allah who is holding the birds from falling down huh are you sure Muhammad I mean, this guy Muhammad is really, really is scientist. He know it all. Nothing he say is not a true. And this is science. Before that, I was like, I was wondering how, how you know, uh, uh, how this happened, how the birds are not falling down. I mean, this is amazing. Why are the birds are in the sky? They're not falling down because Allah, he, you know, he hold it. Do you see it? And you are telling me the Quran is not a serious book? Brother? Allah gave them wings? This, this, this is not what it says, Abdul. It says, do you not see birds constructed in the middle of the sky? None withhold them but Allah. If he is speaking about the wings, simply the wings is the one is holding them. This is how silly you are. Allah gave them wings, right? Wings, wings. The same thing Allah He said about the, the sky. Allah hold the sky from failing. The sky from failing. We are in the sky. We are in the sky. We are not out of the sky. The earth is nothing but a spaceship inside the sky, and we are very tiny, small, like a dust. Silly Quran. Now, I wasn't planning really to spoke, speak about Islam, but I want to give a chance for the Muslims to call me if they want. What do you think? Uh, should, shall we? Or we'll just keep it for, for a new year? What do you think?
Okay, let me open my Skype. Only Muslims can call me, please. I will give a chance to the Muslims to call me. Even it wasn't my not, not my plan really to uh to make a long video today. But look like we have some Abduls here, they are excited. It does give them a chance to do better. <clears throat> All right, my friend. Feel free to call me. If there's any Abdul would like to call, feel free. <coughs> Here we go. So you know the when when we speak about Islam, it's not only silly, it's not only funny, it's just stupid. It's beyond silliness, you know, like there is some stuff it's silly. But stupidity is the major impact. Show Bible allowed the toilet. What does that mean? I mean, do you see? Do you see why some people are Muslims? Look at this guy. CP show Bible allowed the toilet. What does that mean? I mean, have you ever heard of such a stupid thing? Do we need God to allow a toilet? Why do you before you don't you don't shit before my friend? Like you Muslims, you do not, you cannot shit unless Allah allow you. Before, before Muhammad he came. Actually, let me show you. you as you mentioned this, yes, Muhammad, Muslims they say that uh, Rasulullah allamana kulla shay hatta al khara, including how to do shit. That he taught us everything, including how to do shit. Let me show you. Which means the Muslims before Muhammad do not know how to do shit. Excuse my language. Do you see it? And the Muslims here trying to make it look nicer in the translation, but the fact in the in the Arabic it says Hat al khara read with me. Hat al khara al khara in Arabic means shit, literally. And I challenge any Muslim to say it's not true. Okay, look like we have a Muslim trying to call, but we miss it. <coughs> Let us see. <coughs> Hello. Is that you again? Yes. Why you are calling me? I don't know, man. Are you the same one? Uh, are you the same one who was trying to show his private part yesterday? What? There's a guy who called me yesterday. He's trying to show his private part. He's a Muslim, good believer. No, no, no. That's not me. Okay. What do you think about this hadith? Allah is teaching the Muslims how to do shit. Shit. Yeah. Yes. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. What's wrong with it? Well, why? Before you, before Muhammad, you you people do not know how to do shit. What? Before Muhammad, who was like how you people you do shit? Because he is the one. It says here that the Prophet including how to do shit. A guy he said to him, "I see that your Prophet he teach you everything, including how to do shit." The guy he said yes, and he taught us even how to to clean our anus. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. Why you need Muhammad to teach you how to clean your anus and how to do shit? He's just giving us tips. Steps like what? Like uh, how to shit. Okay, how to shit. Yes. Teach us how you do it now as a Muslim. How you shit after Muhammad he taught you. Yes. Tell us how what how you shit now you Muslim after Muhammad he taught you. Like let us join the the classroom of Muhammad to learn how to shit. Teach us what Muhammad taught you how to shit. Wait. I what does it say in that hadith? It says there that he taught you how to do shit. You see, okay, in, you, uh, in English, it, it, in English, they, they hide the word shit from the from the, the thing. It doesn't say how to clean ourselves. It doesn't say that. It says you, uh, he taught us. He taught us how. And then after that, he's speaking about how to clean yourself. But the word shit is gone. No. Read with me carefully. Here they replace the word shit with this. You see it. But this is not the correct translation for the Arabic word. In Arabic, it is al-khara. 
Okay. No. Now you said that your prophet he gave you tips about how to do shit. What is the tips? Give us some. I forgot. You forgot. Okay. Yes. Go go and do shit and uh, try to remember. Okay. When you remember after you do shit, let me know. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Don't hey, wait what do you mean you forgot? You, you, don't you do shit every day? Yes. That's mean you don't practice the shit of Muhammad. That no, is that is shitty of you. If you're a prophet, no. taught you how to do shit, and now you are saying you try to remember how you, how he taught you to do it. That's mean you are not following your prophet. Why you are not doing it the same as your prophet said? Because I don't want to. Why? Why? Does it hurt? No. Because he used three rocks. No. Well, it hurt. Here we go. It's in front of you. It says he used three rocks. Do you use the three rocks? Okay, fuck you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is how silly this stupid cult. If you if you discuss with them after two seconds, they are gone. They are history. This is how silly is religion. I mean, I don't want. I was supposed to go and say Happy New Year, and look what we are talking about. This is what Islam is about. This is religion. Three rocks. Why? What's wrong with this guy? Brother, he forbid us from facing the Qibla when we are doing poo poo. Oh, isn't it obvious that he, this guy, he think that we are living in a flat earth? How you can face the Qibla? And what that will do to the Qibla? How many people right now in the world, they are facing the Qibla when they are doing poo, poo Is that an insult to Allah? Why Allah don't stop people from, from, from facing the Qibla? Hmm? Happy New Year, everybody. Honestly, I wasn't going to go there. I just said, let me open a video for five minutes, say Happy New Year. I really apologize for speaking about this in such an occasion. <laughs> but maybe it's a good for a comedy, you know? I mean, what you can say? This is the wisdom of Islam, and this is the stupidity of this cult. Islam is a, is a, it looked not, Islam is like a grave from outside. Not Islamic grave, by the way, because Islamic grave looked this, disgusting. By the way, in case you do not know, in Islamic countries, if a female woman, she is buried and she is young, her family, they leave guards, male guards, beside the grave for the coming 48 hours. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Who knows why? If a female woman, she is young, she die, they leave guards next to the grave because the Muslims in those countries, many of them, they go and they dig the grave and they take the female women and they have sex with her. So they wait until she is 48 hours after because that will make her, her body became to be smell and you know. So they leave a guard. Yeah. Actually, there's a fatwa. You can search it right now. Where a Muslim scholar he made a fatwa that a man he can have sex with his wife up to six hours after her death. Other Muslim scholar, this is the Mufti of Saudi Arabia, he said if a man is hungry, he can eat his wife. Search it in Google. Guys, anything I say to you, search it right now. We are not making things up. Muhammad himself, he slept with, with the mother of Ali. Ali, you know, uh, Ali, Ali, when when his mother, she die, his mother is beautiful, she is young, and uh, Muhammad is an old man, he like her. Uh, so Ali, he came to Muhammad, and he said to him, my mother, she is dying. He's sad, you know. So Muhammad, he come with an idea. And what is the idea? He took off his clothes, and you know, those women, when they when uh, uh, those people there when somebody died they strip them out of their clothes and then they cover them with a sheet which means she's wearing nothing so muhammad he took his clothes off and he slept with her in her grave and the excuse is 
that he did that because he want to make the pressure of the grave less uh-huh yeah the pressure of the in the grave huh what the pressure of the grave yeah Muslim they believe in the uh, in the punishment of the grave but since when if somebody sleep with somebody in the grave that will make the pressure of the grave less let me see if I can find the hate for you in English no we cannot find it in English yeah sadly but you can search it in Google maybe you can find a translation for it all right And this is the hadith in Arabic. The book of Majma'u al-Zawaid wa Manba'u al-Fawaid. Nuruddin bin Abi Bakr al-Haythami. And this is the book cover. And this is just one of many references. It's not like necessarily this book. And this is the hadith. One five four zero zero. Wa an ibn Abbas. Qala lamma matat Fatima. Ummu Ali ibn Abi Talib. And Abbas, from Abbas, he said that when the mother of uh, Ali passed away, the Prophet, he took his uh, clothes and make it in the top of her or wear, making it wear her. For sure, she cannot wear it because she is dead. So he, he placed uh, the shirt on her and he slept with her in her grave. When after they finish and they put the dust, the sand on, on her or the dirt, they said, what we, what, you, what we saw you doing today, the people, it was weird. We never saw anyone doing such a thing before. He said, Muhammad explained now why he did that. He said, I did wear her my shirt so she would wear the clothes of heaven. And I did sleep with her in her grave to make the grave a pressure on her less. And here, by the way, showing us that Muhammad is a false prophet because the Quran says those who don't believe they will go to hell anyway. So what uh, shirt of heaven? Is she going to heaven or she is going to go to hell? In different hadith, Muhammad claimed that any woman who he if her, she will not go to hell. I mean, the way the way to go to heaven is his private part he have the key is his, his his private part is the key to heaven <clears throat> well, people converting to this uh, you know some people are ignorant there's ignorance everywhere but as soon as they knew they leave you see guys i have a, the bit the best show in the front of my my place I have a bunch of a beautiful birds. You will not believe how beautiful they are. Honest to God, glory to the Lord, how, how beautiful the design of those birds are. They have red hats. Let me see if I can take a picture of this bird. Unbelievable. They have a red hat in the top of their head. And some of them, they have, it's like amazing. Really, the Lord is, uh, it's amazing, you know. A glory to him. Uh Anyway, you know, my, there is, there's people, look at this guy. I cannot focus on Allah now. Look at this beauty. Look at the ugly Allah and look at this beauty around us, you know. Those birds are amazing. Blue color, red colors, yellow. Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, the, those birds, we see them always here, but... Uh, uh, today they are happy because uh, uh, the weather is is better than usual, and uh, that's mean a lot of food, you know. Yeah, they are all over. They are very active because now they, you know, they they collect food for for the coming, let us say, bad days. Uh, <clears throat> Why you shouldn't? Why you don't show Bible cult, uh, Hamad? Why I want to show the Bible cult? That will be an insult to your prophet because you will be offended. Let me show you why. If the Bible is cult, why you stupid prophet? He swear in it. 
Can you tell me? As long as the Bible is a cult. Why you're a prophet? He took an oath on the Bible cult. You have an idea. Let us assume that this is a Bible cult. And then we have a prophet. He says, I swear by thee and the one who sent thee. Now, who is the certified liar here? Are you there? How I don't believe in the Quran, and then I say, I swear by thee and the one who sent thee. I don't swear, I don't believe in the Quran, I don't believe the boy by the one who sent thee. So, in order for Muhammad to say such a thing, either he is a liar or he is a believer. Choose one, my friend. Which one? He told them, Bring me the Torah. Muhammad, he said, Bring me the Torah. And it was then brought to him. Then he would draw the cushion from beneath him and place the Torah. Look how much respect he's treating the Torah with. On it saying, I believed in thee and him who revealed thee. Are you there, Abdul? Where is the Abdul who want to talk about the Bible? Brother Tata, the Bible is full of errors and mistake. Uh, brother Zakanak, so why the prophet he took an oath in the Bible which is full of errors and mistakes and fabrication? Uh, first of all, the Bible, uh, uh, um, what is the question? Uh, why the prophet he took an oath on it if it is wrong and full of false teaching and etc. The, the uh, what 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 was the question uh, brother why the prophet as long the bible is corrupt and stupid and etc why your prophet he took an oath in it uh, first of all show me your faith show me your faith i will tell you the answer uh, well, brother what face what, what face of who show me your faith so give me your name stop talking from behind the computer uh, brother, what does this have to do with the question? I mean, why you don't give us the, the answer? Why your prophet is taking an oath in a false book? I told you once at the time I will not answer you and let you tell me your faith. Uh, my brother, but you answered me many times before. How come this time you wouldn't? Uh... Because I am stubborn. I am very stubborn. Ask my wife. My wife they said to us, let us have a big baby. I say, I don't want to make baby. Ask her. Where is the Muslims? Where is the Muslims who talk about the Bible is corrupt? How it's corrupt and you're a prophet taking an oath on it? The Bible is not in jail? Uh, hold on. So are you saying that your prophet, he agree with the Torah? Are you saying he agree with the Torah? Now let me get get you buzzed about the Injil. Supposedly now the Muslims he escaped. Like this is the by this is the Torah, not the Injil. <laughs> let me get you busted, Abdul. Abdul, yeah, Abdul. Here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. Look what your prophet he said, man. You're a prophet, he cannot stop doing poo poo. He cannot. Hmm. Do you see what he speak about the Bible? And when there come to them a book from Allah, verifying that which they have. Do you see it? Verifying. Crazy, 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 crazy. Very fine. If you don't like the translation, I will change the translation for you. Customer service, please change the translation for us. This Muslim Abdul, he don't like the translation. Please change the translation. What? The translation saying confirming that is in their position how disgusting i'm very brother very much disappointed so how you muslim you say to us that your bible is corrupt but your stupid quran say the opposite let us go zakir naik 
Tadadun, tadadun. Tadadun, tadadun. Assalamualaikum. I told you 1,000 times don't call me, especially after the middle of the night. And by the way, I reported you to the police because you are doing sexual harassment. That's like a nice, like, hold, hold on, man. Hold your horses. It's just a question. What sexual harassment? What rape? What's wrong with you? Your prophet, he slept with the women in the grave, and now you are making it just for calling you sexual harassment? Take it easy. I want to ask you just a very simple question. I told you one more time, I have no answer. Show me your face. Show me your face. I will give you the answer. Brother, just it's very easy. And for sure, you are a scholar, you are a big deal. Look at look at your beard, man. I love your beard, by the way. Thank you very much. I am sexy and I know it. <laughs> and this is the only thing you said is true. This is the only thing. My beard is very beautiful. But I will not answer you and don't try to tempt me. And leave my beard alone. Uh, brother, but your beard is really, I mean, do you put fertilization for it or how how you grow it, man? I cannot give you any recipe. Because this is something only Muslim they can have. Hmm. Who is the Muslim? I tell us what's happening. Confirming what is in their position. Huh? Hello. Hello. I mean, this is a stupid religion, man. Sayyid Omar is trying to call. Let us see what Sayyid Omar want to say. Looked like he tried to call me, but it did not work. Yeah, actually, I I made it. Uh, uh, I changed the setting of my. Uh, don't be. Don't think I'm scared of you. Hmm. Let us see. Say it, Omar. Answer, my friend. Answer. It says you are not online, so I don't know. You just supposed to try to call me. Now it says you are not online. How so? Okay, maybe you have a bad internet. All right, no problem. Anyway, guys, as you see, Islam is the most silly, stupid religion. Muslims, they have big mouth as long as you know nothing. The second they know nothing, they know that you know, they change the topic. Immediately. As long as you do not know. They are big mouth. You know, some people, they ask me in Skype, how we can join you when you are live on air? My friend, just subscribe to uh, to YouTube. And when I am on air, or you can subscribe to uh, Facebook. I post there that I will be there on air. And this is the way, you know, You can find out. All right, just subscribe. This is the easiest way. You are Arab who has converted to Christianity because otherwise you are either a Greek yeah, you, you. Uh, okay someone is asking me how you why you are saying you are an Arab my friend maybe you are an ignorant about the Arab the biggest two tribes in the Middle East was Arabian Christian tribes and uh, maybe you never heard of Al-Ghassassina And until now, there's many tribes who they are in Jordan, who they are a Christian, but they are Arab. So obviously you do not know. You think that everybody in the Middle East, either he is a Greek or he is Syriac or etc. Secondly, even, even the Islamic source report 
uh, uh, that uh, the the tribes of the Christians. And in case you do not know, the five great poetry makers in the history of Arabia they were Christians. So don't be an ignorant person and say you are you know, there is no Arab Christians. All right. Uh, And then saying, kindly study the shroud of terrain in YouTube and drive people to it as it is scientific evidence of the divinity of Christ. My friend, this is the last of my interest. I am the last one who will care really for the shroud of terrain because the Lord, He said, to bless those who believe and they did not see. Why we need that to believe in Jesus? Isn't it, isn't it enough that we have everyday proofs that Jesus has changed life? We are a proof that he is a miracle and he do miracles. Those who they are weak, they are looking for evidence because they have no faith. The more you look, the more, the more you prove to yourself one thing, that you are not a believer. not a believer but maybe you are trying to be and i don't blame people to do so many people are weak in faith for me i don't believe i need a picture or an image or a dress or a clothes of jesus to believe in jesus <clears throat> but it's very funny how people they say that there is no Arab Christians. If we type in Google right now, Al Ghassasina, let us see, maybe we can find you some reference in English, not in Arabic. Al let us see. No, we did not find Al Rasasina. Maybe I need to change the way I type it Rasasina. Let us see if we do it in Arabic. And for sure, in Arabic, we will find right away. There's two huge tribes in the Middle East. They used to be a kingdom, actually, not only tribe Arab Rasasina and Arab Manadira. The Manadira, they are close to the borders of the desert of Iraq. The Ghassasina is in the Arabian Peninsula between Syria and Saudi Arabia, which is like Jordan today. Uh, okay. Those are the Ghassasina. And this is their map. And they are pure Arab. So what are you talking about? Who is the one who taught you that there is no Arab in the Middle East who they are Christians? Uh, I cannot find really something in English to show you, but if somebody can find, let me know. All right. So this is where the map here is showing you where the Assassin's Kingdom was. And then we can search for Al Manazira in the same time. Those Al Ghassasina. This is an old image about Al Ghassasina. All right. But anyway, I mean, people they have a nobody want to you know like um, get some time to study and search. Right? Why we to search? I mean, search is is making us tired. We just make assumption that there's no Arab uh, Christians. As I know, there's no real Arab around Muhammad, Arab Christian, yes. Like in Mecca, I don't believe there really was really uh, real Arab Christians or Muhammad, he did not for sure, uh, uh, you know, meet in Mecca or in Medina, a real Arab Christian. He met Nasara. Nasara, which is a cult, is not really Christians. Uh, 
yeah here you see this is like this is a better map here you see this is al-manadira let me let me show you on the screen so the one here with this color this is al-manadira those are arab christians those are al-ghasasina arab christians all right so i don't know where you get your ideas about what you are talking about and by the way there's nothing is called arab as an ethnic arab are not ethnic group there's many naive people who think arab is an ethnic which means they are from one father or this is not really true the word arab in the in the aramaic it's people who live in the west desert if you look at this map you will see that the aramaic people they were here in this area let us show them again the aramaic they are here so they call those who they are here in the desert they call them arab arab is a word for those Bedouin who live in the desert it is not a name of an ethnic they are not an ethnic and they are not a nation same as the word Aramaic but the word Aramaic is not only it comes from a nation but the word Aramaic itself the word Aram mean those who live in high uh, land like hills you know and Arab is those who live in the desert same as those who they call them Palestinian there's nothing is called Palestinian Palestinian is those who live in a territory it's called Palestine but they are not a nation they are not people who they are a nation as a nation uh, you know people they have always a wrong idea about about things like there is nations there's an ethnic groups like Assyrian those are ethnic Syriac those are an ethnic uh, even Syriac are mixed by the way uh, but Arab are not if you go right now and check if we go let me see if I can show you just to show you what we are talking about All right. <clears throat> this is a picture of the presidents of the Arabian countries. Do you see any of them? He match any one of them in the look? They don't. Different ethnic. They have nothing to do with each other. But they call themselves the Arabian leaders or Arabian kings. You know, look at them. Do you see anyone match anyone in the look? They don't look like any. And you will notice that I believe strongly that countries like Qatar, Bahrain, and the the the, uh, the north of Saudi Arabia, sorry, the, the east of Saudi Arabia, is from uh, India. They are Indian. They are not, they, they are, uh, let, let me show you. Hold on. Uh, look at this guy. This is the Prince of Qatar. If you see him, don't you think that he is a Pakistani guy? Be honest with me. Don't he look exactly like a Pakistani guy? Their hair, their mustache, their look, you know, they look like Pakistani. For they are Pakistani. We are not making things up. And if you look in the in the map, you will see how Pakistan is so close to this country. You just you cross the sea, you cross the sea, and you are like a few hours in this in the sea, and you are in, in Arabia. Pakistan is not really far away from Saudi Arabia. 
there's a small sea between them and you cross the sea and you are there that's it their clothing their behavior their look everything and now they, they say they are Arab okay why the Arab don't look like the Arab you will notice that every Arab looked different look at this picture as an example who of those guys he looked the same as the other guy none what is the Arab I want I'm, I'm trying to find them what is the Arab there's no Arab it's a lie Arab never was an ethnic group look at those jokers anyone look the same as any anyone next to him right so many of you have a wrong idea of what is you know what there's nothing the, the Arabic language does not even exist the Arabic language is a collection of languages born out of Aramaic as a major language and then it's mixed with many like Ethiopian uh, Indian uh, or like uh, uh, you know when I say Pakistan by the way this there's, there's nothing it's called Pakistan this is India right but uh, Arabic is not a language by itself Arabic is like you put many languages but let us say maybe 80% of it is Aramaic and then you mix it with some Hebrew some gibberish some you know uh, Pharisees Persian uh, some Roman Greek some 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 and then you come with the Arabic otherwise there's nothing called Arabic and this is why the Arab they cannot be uh, they cannot be friends to each other because they don't they, they, are, they have nothing to share you see what make all those people say we are Arab just because of Islam otherwise none of them is an Arab look at this madness this guy from Africa this is the president of Algeria this is the king of Morocco this is the king of Saudi Arabia and this is the prince of Emirat but none of them look the same as other one what a collection where is the Arab If you go to uh, even even some of them they are blonde <laughs> they are a little bit blonde you know like if you go to the president of Syria he is a blonde more than more more than Billy Clinton let us see But you know, we people we go by the news. The, whatever they say to us, they say to us Arab. That's it. We believe they are Arab. I mean, as as long they are saying they are Arab, so they are Arab. That's it. You know. I mean, can you question that? You cannot. That's it. They say he's an Arab, so he's an Arab. The guy, look, the guy. He have a blue eyes. He have a blonde hair. When he was a kid, he was totally blonde. Huh? And this is supposed an Arab. What is an Arabian about him? What is the Arab on him? I mean, why why he don't look like the same as the king of Saudi Arabia, the same as the president of Iraq, the same as the you know the, the Egyptian president? They don't they don't share anything. They don't show you the culture. They don't share the language. Even the language is different. They don't share anything. No, actually, this guy is better than many. You see, th this is the this is the evil of the, of the world. This guy, he the Christians in his in his under his his uh, his rule, the Christian they celebrate Christmas. The Christian they celebrate their churches. They go to their churches. They preach. They teach. Nobody nobody touch them. Women they serve in the army. Women they are police. You want to go to the beach? You go to the beach. You want to you do whatever you want.
the plan of Obama the evil Obama the Muslim Obama is to destroy all secular government and replace them with terrorism this is what they did in Egypt they took a secular president they replaced him with the Muslim Brotherhood this is what they did with Tunisia and they replaced them with the Muslim Brotherhood government and this is what they did with Turkey you know the, the, the plan is to make an, an uh, a rainbow of Muslim Brotherhood Empire and Syria was a target because Syria is in the middle and they cannot establish this empire unless they conquer Syria so Obama plan is to increase the Muslim terrorist power in the Middle East so they can conquer this guy replace him the same as it with Saddam Hussein Saddam Hussein was a secular very secular okay we took Saddam Hussein look what we have now do you see how smart the American are you took away Saddam Hussein now we have the mullah controlling Iraq and now they attack this guy and now we have Iran controlling uh, Iran and, and Russia but for sure Iran is the is the, is the one a scary one because this guy he found himself he have no way except asking for help whoever can help the whole world is against him they put sanctions on in Syria they they cannot even buy drugs they cannot even buy food they cannot even import potatoes they cannot even import a, a grocery everybody put sanctions on them in order to make this guy collapse replace him with who with the Muslim Brotherhood the same they did with Libya they assassinate the criminal of Qazafi I believe he is a criminal yes and this guy is a criminal too all of them they are criminals but the point is is to conquer anyone who don't believe in Islam as a religion to practice in the country and replace him with an organization of the Muslim Brotherhood if not Russia all the Christians in Syria would be slaughtered this is the smartest move this guy he did he asked the Russian for help and the Russian they flip upside down the plan of America to destroy Syria this is the truth you see the 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 Egyptian president Mubarak he was serving USA for for more than 30 years whatever USA want he say yes Obama came and everything changed suddenly this guy became a piece of garbage to America and they want to replace him with the Muslim Brotherhood this is why when the new queue happened against the Muslim Brotherhood Obama was the first one to announce that we will put sanctions on Egypt if you don't put back the president who is the Muslim Brotherhood you see actually it was a satanic plan run by Obama and the Muslim Brotherhood to conquer the Middle East and thanks God it did not work and the reason it did not work some mistakes the Muslim Brotherhood they did uh, I don't want to talk about pretext, but you guys you are leading me there. <laughs> All right. Let us make a short uh, education. The stupidity of the Muslim Brotherhood because after they won Egypt after they took Egypt as a government and they have already Turkey and their Erdogan Erdogan party for those who do not know is a Muslim Brotherhood it's just a different name so after the collapse of those government seculars and now the Muslim Brotherhood control them and those are the biggest Islamic countries exist in the area they started planning to take over other important countries don't forget that Qatar the Prince of Qatar is a Muslim Brotherhood already and he is actually their money back so the plan was very simple Jordan is already more than 90% of it is Muslim Brotherhood 
Syria, the majority of population are Muslim Sunni, which support the Muslim Brotherhood. Saudi Arabia was the Kemeni plan and Emirat and Bahrain. What happened is that in Saudi Arabia, they discover the royal family that the Muslim Brotherhood, they are planning to make a coup against them. So the Saudi arrested everybody he is a Muslim Brotherhood in the country and they announced the Muslim Brotherhood to be a terrorist organization. Same did Emirat to follow. So now this, the, the, the collapse of the Muslim Brotherhood starts here in Saudi Arabia and in Emirat and in Bahrain. Otherwise, everything was working perfectly. And because it collapsed here, Saudi Arabia pumped a lot of money to Egypt in order to sponsor any movement to go against the Muslim Brotherhood because they noticed the risk of this organization. And they were able to suc or successful to launch a huge uh, prostration against the government. More than 30 million people went in the street. And that caused the collapse of the Muslims uh, 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 Brotherhood organization in Egypt. And then in Syria, the Muslim Brotherhood almost, they were very successful in the beginning, in the first two or three years. Then ISIS grow by the help of Obama. The reason ISIS was growing and Al-Qaeda because Obama noticed that Muslim Brotherhood, they are not aggressive enough to take down the government. So they said to themselves, those who do suicide bombing are more important for us from those who just, I mean, uh, they like temporarily until we conquer the Assad. So they start pumping a lot of money to ISIS and Al-Qaeda, hoping that they will conquer the Assad regime very fast here. But what happened, the Russian came. And you don't play with the Russian, my friend. The Russian start slaughtering the terrorists like chickens by tens of thousands. American pay them money, send them weapon, and Europe and Russian slaughter those who they are sponsored by America. And the victory was in the side of the Russian, as we notice. And actually, I say, thank God, it was not the plan of Obama, which was victorious. Otherwise, all the Christians in Syria would be slaughtered with no mercy. When the Russian, they came, this area here in Syria, the first thing the Russian they did, maybe many of you do not know why the Russia is so much interested in Syria. First of all, the major population of Syria as a Christians, they are Orthodox. And the church in Russia is very powerful. So they enforce the support. It's a must. We cannot leave the Orthodox Christian there die alone. America don't care for them. Europe don't care for them and nobody care and the only one who can help is the Orthodox Russian so the Orthodox Russian Church forced Putin to make a red line even before the attack before the Russian came to Syria to protect the Christians so they made a red line here in this area there is some areas which is occupied by Christians. I'm not sure if I'm drawing correctly. This is a red area, which means nobody can pass it. No Muslim, no terrorist, nobody. You attack there, we will smash you. This is a Christian area protected completely. Then, the Muslims they start attacking other territory which have Christians, but they are not like big in numbers. ISIS they attack a city in Syria, which is a very important city full of Christians, almost like nine, 99 percent is a Christians. ISIS and Al Qaeda surrounded this area from all direction, and Russia cannot stay watching anymore, so they have to move and do something. They surrounded them from every direction and actually in the beginning they were able to attack and to like enter maybe 50 meter inside the city imagine but because those christians they were fighting for their lives and their family they were they were fighting like crazy and they were able to destroy and humiliate isis and al-qaeda as never before 
they thought those are those are Christians they are peaceful you know we attack them we say we shout Allahu Akbar and they get scared and they hide in their houses and that's it but more than 20,000 fighters from ISIS and Al-Qaeda and suicide bombers they could not even enter 50 meter and they were kicked out and then the Russian came and then the Russian start cleaning the, 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 the ground from the dirt of ISIS and the dirt of Al-Qaeda and here I find the devilish plan of the West conquering a country just because you want to change a regime slaughtering millions of Christians and million of even Muslims sacrificing them as if they are hamburger just because you have a plan to change a regime in the capital and this regime is a secular he's a dictator yes all our friends all our friends are dictators why why America don't make sanctions in Saudi Arabia here we go they, they even they killed that guy in the embassy they cut him pieces shish kebab do you see any of them made sanctions nobody did the France kick the Saudi embassy and they close it no did the English the the, 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 the UK who nobody nobody care suddenly this guy is the only dictator all your friends are dictators The plan was an evil plan and I will tell you something having Islamic countries around Israel is a very secure for Israel maybe some people will not understand this is Israel it's for the best of Israel to have Islamic regimes around them not secular anyone knows why because Islamic regimes they will keep the country stupid live in the cave time a secular regime will build universities people will be more educated which means the enemy will become more advanced are you getting my point do you understand me saudi arabia if it was a secular country after all the oil and the wealth they have they should be one of the most powerful countries in the world but because islam is controlling the country saudi arabia until now they cannot even have a theater for singing a song like finally now just a week ago they have a female singing in the stage and uh, and uh, uh, the head of the tv station the official tv station was fired for broadcasting that because people get upset after all the money they have still they are no one because of Islam if you compare between Dubai and Saudi Arabia why Dubai is totally different from Saudi Arabia very simple reason their Islam is not in control bring Islam people go to the cave time Music is haram. Uh, the first bicycle came to Saudi Arabia was arrested and they accused the bicycle to be the devil bike and they executed the, 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 the bike. Have you ever heard of somebody executing the bike? They brought a guy with a sword and he started hitting the bike with a sword. Women, they are driving cars since centuries and now in Saudi Arabia, women are allowed but by permission of the husband, which means nothing changed. My friend Islam wherever it goes countries collapse you see like now in Turkey just to show you the hypocrisy of Erdogan Erdogan he claimed that he is a Muslim leader he speak too much about Islam but nothing in Turkey right now is Islamic or what Erdogan he said or what did he did they start teaching Islamic in Islam in uh, in, uh, in universities or schools but it's not really the true Islam I mean they are not against music they are not against dancing they are not against etc so what is what what islam you are teaching what is it exactly is that night clubs are open drinking alcohol prostitution number one business in turkey so what uh, what this muslim government is about how do you call yourself a muslim party when, when you practice nothing of islam in your party you know what i mean Let us see this guy is trying to call me. He said, I'm avoiding. It. <coughs> <coughs> uh, 
answer, Abdul. You said you want to call me, here we go. I'm calling you. Abdul. How are you, Abdul? You are trying to call me, my friend? Yes, yes. Okay, what do you want to say to us? I just want to say that hmm. um, violence is in every religion, right? Hmm. Right or wrong? Hmm. And? Right. So, I want to means uh, accept any faith. And that should not be hypocrites means uh, uh, if their religion has violence still they are uh, uh, insulting other religions okay that means they are hypocrites okay so we should not insult other religion right yes yes but, but, but don't don't go go into the quran i know uh -huh. I, I, so, so why are you afraid i would go to the quran i mean why you are saying to me don't insult if you're a prophet he call us pigs he call us monkeys he call us nudges he call us dirty he calls kuffar so why you say to you why you want to school me about not to insult no, other religions? Will you listen to me, please? I'm listening to you, I, my I'm friend. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I I have seen your I have seen your videos. I'm totally. I mean, I I agree. But I'm saying mm. I'm I'm talking as in like I'm not not in any any. Religion, but no, no. Here we talk about religion, my friend. I don't, I don't care for your private opinion. With my respect to you, here we are fighting religion. We are not fighting you as a person. I have no idea who you are. You might be a great person. You might be a wonderful person. You might be a very nice person to live next door to him. But this is not my topic, my friend. I'm talking against Islam. What do you want to tell me about Islam? What? I, you, you're not understanding me. I'm talking about violence. I mean, I'm talking about violence, violence too. Do Islam teach you? Jesus says, "Love your enemy, not not to kill your enemy." Jesus but said, he, "No, I no." Mean, what? Jesus said to love enemy, hmm. but but he he is killing in 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 see your scriptures. He's Wh killing, but he's wh where standing. where he is killing. You are talking about in the Old Testament. I'm talking about all Christians. Where, where, Christians. what Christians can Who are they? Who, who are the Christians? Uh, what are you talking about? Where, where I, I will, uh, I, I will, where I will. Oh, okay. So now let me ask you, do you are you against the teaching of Muhammad teaching to kill and start our people just because you don't agree with him? Yes or no? I, I, I am against all violence in all. Okay. So are you saying, are you saying your prophet is a false prophet? Do you agree that he's a what? false prophet? Whoever, whoever. Whoever God or son of God, whoever is prophet, I don't like violence at all. That's not the question. What do you think about your prophet? Is he really a prophet or he's a false prophet? What is Muhammad for you a prophet or he's a false prophet? He's a prophet, I know. He's a prophet. Okay, can you give me a prophecy for him making a prophet? Because in order for me to be a prophet, I have to make a prophecy. What Muhammad prophesy? What Muhammad prophesy means uh, future events. What? What? What are you asking? What? What? Prophesy. Well, in order to call somebody prophet, prophet, he have to prophesy to speak about the future. Let me prophesy well, for you. This coming month, there is many women. They will have their period. Here we go. I am a prophet. Give me a prophecy of your prophet. What he prophesied. The Quran in front of me. Show me the prophecy. He said it come to be true. It will come true in the end times. Uh, you, you and I will be not uh, alive. Uh, what blah 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 blah. blah. He, he came fourteen hundred years ago until now. Nothing happened. As an example, because let me show you. Let me show you. Is it, is it a true, is not, my friend? Is it a true that no, no, Muhammad this he is said? Not end times, man. This is not end times. What, this what? is not end times. End times are far means they are not now. No, are, you're a prophet in chapter fifty-four. In chapter fifty-four, verse number one, your prophet he said, far. "Hold on." You're a prophet. He claimed that the judgment day is coming, is almost there, and the moon is split. So he's saying that the moon is splitting is a sign of judgment day. But until now, nothing happened. And no more split. Wait, 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 wait. In in God's eyes, that 
time is short for my us. friend my friend what god eyes he said it happened already the moon is split but there's no moon split this is eclipse what? chapter 54 verse number one he said that the moon split ascender became two pieces but this is false there's no moon split this was just an eclipse he claimed that this is a judgment they started already is not going to be in the future it's already that is how so, so he claimed that here we go the judgment day is here and the moon is split but there's no moon split and there's no judgment they happen and he said that 1400 years ago he said i'm talking about events that will happen in end times so mm. we are not living in end times right now so um, you and i should okay let me ask you let me ask you you, you as a muslim about... my friend you as a muslim what convinced you that muhammad is a prophet as long as you are waiting for him to his prophecy to come to true why why you are sure he is a prophet if nothing he said became true that's how allah wants means uh, oh that's how sister. allah want okay ah. that's how, how allah want okay I, I okay forget about okay. prophecy how you can confirm to me that muhammad I, is a prophet of god and god he sent him how you convince yourself that muhammad is a prophet what what, what exactly what, how you come to this conclusion Sh share with me please if you don't mind what I how 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 you convince yourself that Muhammad is sent by God? What is the proof? There's any proof? Uh, yes, he, he he talks about future events. He he, he knows every uh, preceding. But uh, he know what? Like as an example, he said that the baby is made from a congealed blood. The sperm will be a congealed blood, and then will become a piece of a flesh. Do you agree with that? What what? Uh, can you explain me? You're a prophet, he said. Your prophet, he said, that the baby mm. is made from a sperm, and the sperm will become mm. become a congealed blood. Do you agree with him on saying such a thing, or this is a stupid See, mistake? I I will tell you one thing. Mm. There are good teachings in Islam. My friend, I'm not talking about good teaching now. Forget about good teaching. Do you think? Hold on. This is not my question. My friend, this is not my question. How your prophet, he is a speaking of God. But he says, I understand you. No, no. Don't tell me I understand you. You don't understand me. You must have you never listened to the question. My question is about if Muhammad is speaking of God and God told him this, and Allah is talking here, how Allah he makes such a mistake says that the sperm will turn into a congealed blood and that will make the baby. <laughs> Hello, I hear Hello. you. Yes, yes. Tell yeah. Me. So how Allah He says such a stupid mistake that He made your, the sperm. Your voice is some. Uh, okay, not... let me let me read Quran for you. That will fix my voice. You hear me now? Hello. Hello. Here we go. We have a bad connection, uh, my friend. Do you hear me now? My mic. Internet is slow. Wait, wait. Do you hear me now? Do you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Yes, my so, internet is slow. So my question is, my, no problem. My question is, how Allah He says such a stupid thing uh, that we made okay, the sperm? Okay, here we go. He cannot hear me no more. What I can do? Do you hear me now? What word? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. How Allah in the Quran, chapter twenty-three, verse number fourteen, He said. That we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. How such a mistake can happen from God? Your God do not know how He created us. See, I, I told I don't care about that. Uh, you, you don't, don't care. Why you don't care? You, you don't care that your God is an idiot. What? You don't care that God what? of Islam is an idiot. You don't care. He's still God. So he's still God. Even if he says something stupid, he's still God. How God he cannot do and how he is God, but he do not know how the baby is made. What kind of God he do not know that? I know what I'm trying to say. Hmm. I'm telling that take only good with me and here after anything. Okay, okay, okay. Just take care bye 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 you're wasting my time avoiding my call
Okay. A Muslim wanted me to call him. Let us see this guy. <coughs> Let us see what the Muslims can do. Yes, Mr. Omar. What? what? Yes. You want to talk to me? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, I. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about violence, uh, like I say. My friend, uh, I, we got the, the violence issue. We, we got it. We got it. Now, anything else you want to say to us? We ask about why Allah, he said, Allah, he, we made the sperm into a congealed blood. What do you want to say about that? See, uh, look, I call you. Hmm. I asked you question, but you're not uh, answering your question. What is the question? What is the question? No, I answer you the question. What is the question? About violence, you 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 said your God mm. loves your enemies, huh? Right, yeah. mm. right, right. Mm. So why is he killing here? Why why is he ordering to kill humans? Why? Where 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 he is saying kill a human? The the Bible is in the Bible allowed us. Hold Ali. on, the Bible allowed us to defend ourselves. So if you want to kill us, we will fight you back. If you want to come to our country, your prophet he sent letters to three three kings saying convert to Islam or else, or we will kill you. So what are you talking about? So don't talk about violence when you are worshiping the God of violence. Your God, Allah, he cheer when somebody, he, his blood is shed. Your God, he love a blood sacrifice. He is, he, he is in love with the human sacrifice. Your God is a zombie. But he, he, Yahweh is he, also doing the same, no? Well, so, so, I, I, I I, my, my friend, I don't understand what you are saying. Anybody understand what he's saying? I don't even understand what you are saying to me. Who is a Muslim? He have something to say. This guy, he would like to challenge me. Hmm. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Yes, you said you want to challenge me, my friend. You are a Muslim, right? Yes, yes. Okay, what what it's mean to be a Muslim? No, no, I'd like to ask you a question. No, you said to me you are a Muslim. I want to know what Muslim mean. It means you submit to the will of Allah. Okay, where we can find that in the Quran that the Muslim is somebody who submit to the will of Allah? Uh, it's the teaching of Muhammad. Where, where, show me, where? Uh. I'm not sure. Uh, you are not sure, but you are sure. No. A second ago, you were telling me it's to submit to Allah. The second I asked you where you get this from, you have no idea. Yeah, I'm very sure. Okay, so Wait. show me where where it says. <clears throat> Into the teaching. What? Teaching of Prophet mm. Muhammad. Where, where is the teaching of Prophet Muhammad? Where? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, in the Quran in front of me, the Quran chapter 49, verse number 14, it says, it's not important to be a Muslim. What is important is to surrender. Do you agree with that? I... In order to be Muslim, you have to submit to the teaching of but, Quran. But first of all, there's no, the word submit is not exist in the whole Quran. It says surrender. Now I'm asking you, why the Quran says is not important. Yeah, to, to, to surrender means okay. to submit. But it says you do not need to believe. How you can? How? What kind of religion says you do not need to believe? Well, All what you need is to surrender. Not... It says that in the front of us in the verse in the Quran. Read it. Oh, I'm not. I'm not on your. Okay, you can open your Quran, chapter chapter forty nine, verse number fourteen. What kind of religion says you do not need to believe? Just surrender. Chapter Once, 914. Yeah. Happy New yeah. Year, everybody, guys. Happy yeah. New Year. Okay, so yeah. does it say there? You do not don't say, don't say that we believe. Say we are Muslims. This is what it says in Arabic. Here we go. It says, Don't say that the Arab they say that we are believers, we believe. 
Allah said to them don't say we believe say we became Muslims and believe never enter your heart so how those people became Muslims and yet they didn't have a belief in Allah explain to me uh, because it's a process what prophets if the guy he don't believe process, in Allah how process. Allah he says to him say we are Muslims uh, I'm not sure to be oh, honest. okay you want to call a friend go on you want to call a friend you want to call a sheikh or you want to call Zakir Naik or you want to call somebody yeah I'd like to know what they say yeah okay call him and let me know my friend when you get an answer feel free to call me back okay all right take care say hi to daddy and mommy bye bye if you see the text of this guy you think he's a scholar I challenge you I challenge you he sticks to me I will challenge you I was wondering who is this guy I mean he must be a big scholar I said let me take him before he run don't call me Abdul the other guy uh, Omar the one talk about the violence we are done challenge you if I sneeze you fly How dare you? If I leave my toes in a group of Muslims, have 1,000, my toes can debate them alone. Look at this idiot. He keep texting me, calling me. Let me let me block him. This guy, he want to speak about violence. We, we're done with that. Stop doing that, idiot. Who is next? What kind of this, guys? Do you know what happened here? All what happened is very simple. Muhammad he forced people into Islam by the sword, and he is saying to them, "You cannot follow me. You don't. You did not believe in me. You just surrender." You see here they translate the word "aslamna" as "submit." This is a false translation. This is a big fat lie. There's no sur submit here. It is surrender. Aslamna. قالت الأعراب آمنا قل لم تؤمنوا ولكن قولوا أسلمنا. The Arab they say we believe. Say you don't believe. Say we became Muslims. There's no submit here. And faith never enter your heart. ولم يدخل الإيمان في قلوبكم. So how they became Muslims? How somebody consider as a Muslim? Allah Allah Himself saying to them, say we are Muslim. Don't say we are believers. Which means in Islam, you do not need to be a believer to be a Muslim. All what you need is just to do and say Shahada. Hello? 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 Yes, my friend, how are you? Christian Prince? Yes, how is Pakistan doing? Go ahead. Yes. Do you hear uh, us? Did you hear what we are talking about? How Allah uh, is yes, saying? I, I, I heard you talking about. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, I do. Go ahead. Excellent. I heard <laughs> you talking about. First of all, let me tell you great work you're doing. Oh, okay. Uh, I've become a follower. I thought you are a Muslim. You are not. I am. Uh, I'm sorry, you're talking to me. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm saying I thought you are a Muslim. Are you a Muslim or not? I am a Christian to the heart, to the bone. <laughs> All right, my friend. I thought you are a Muslim. Sorry. Go ahead. <clears throat> Go ahead. We we hear you. We hear you, my friend. Are you there? Okay, look like we have a problem. All right. I, I, you know, I, I don't, uh, I, it's better if you don't call me if you are a Christian, by the way. We prefer to save our time to the Muslims. Yes. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Yes. So what I wanted to say it's important that you submit to you recognize God. Mm. 
Which God? You don't necessarily have which to... God? Which God are you want me to recognize? Which God? Obviously, I'm talking about our God. Who is your God? God? Who is your God? Allah. Who is Allah? The God of all gods. This is not that. This is, is, you don't say to me, Allah is God. Tell me who is Allah. I know, I got it. I got it. He is God. But who is Allah? What do you mean? Okay. If you say to me to believe in something, shouldn't you tell me who is he first? That's the only thing you know that he's God. That's it. Who is Allah? Yeah, he's the only God. What, what only God? What, what is the proof that even his exists? What, do you know what Allah means? What Allah means? Uh, well, he has he has different um, attributes. This is not the question, my friend. Yes, he's a Mercedes Benz. He is a, a Cadillac. He is who I asked you a very simple question. You call him Allah. What Allah mean? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I so don't know Arabic. you don't even know who, who this is. Not who said this is Allah is in Arabic. Allah is not an Arabic word. First of all, secondly, all of you Muslims, if you gather together in the world, none of you knows what Allah mean. And this is telling us that you are following a foreign religion. If it's not Arabic, then what language is it? This it is not. It's coming from the Aramaic. It's coming from the Allah, the Moon God. Allah. Now I'm asking you, who is Allah? The Allah you for your worship, you do not know. I mean, isn't it weird that you believe in a God? You never ask himself, what is this God is about? Who is he? And let me ask you again, make it simple. How you know that Allah is exist? How do I know you? Uh, the revelations in the Quran. What a revelation in the Quran? The revelation in the Quran it says Allah is not exist. No, the prophet. Where? Where does it say that? Okay, let me show you. If if Allah in the Quran <clears throat> is God, how? What is the first verse in the Quran, my friend? I don't know. I, I just I I became uh, I started following it uh, lately. This is not a question. What is the first verse in the Quran? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. You are not sure. Oh, okay. no. uh, it says in the name of Allah if Allah is God how Allah he say in the name of Allah uh, he's why, why what's wrong with that well imagine now I say to you you say to me are you Christian Prince I say to you in the name of a Christian Prince but I am a Christian Prince yes, like I'm, I could say in my name no nobody says that this is stupid to say in the, my name in my name if, if you speak in the name of somebody else you don't say in my name and boy, and by the way he did not say in my name he said in the name of Allah so if Allah is the one is talking how he say in the name of Allah um I could say for example um no. uh, it's a weird question because there's nothing wrong with saying it okay nothing wrong with saying it I, I say that it's very uh, very wrong and very silly and then again let me ask you then uh, 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 what make you believe Muhammad is a prophet? His um, um, prophecies and teachings. Like what? Give me one. The uh, the end times. The end time. Let us see. Let us talk about the end time. Thank you for mentioning that. That's wonderful. You're a prophet. He said in the end of the time, the Roman they will be the major population. Is the Roman now or even exist? No, no, no. By by Roman population, he probably meant the. Um, the Christians is the Christians the Christians are the Roman no 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 because uh, at the time Roman was associated with being Christian right ah so when we say Roman so we now, mean the Christians as you can see but no my friend this is stupid world is this is, a, this by is them. no this is not a true the Quran says that the Christians he called them Nasara he don't call them Roman so don't be a fool secondly not all the Roman necessarily are even a Christians because still there's a, even in the time of Christianity was the yeah, major but generalizing belief. but he's this generalizing. is not what it says read with me carefully Roman is Roman he speak about Roman a Roman Empire the Roman Empire is what he's talking about so the Roman they will became a major population in the world is that a true uh, no it's not Hmm. So why Muhammad is giving us false prophecy? No, no, no. It is. I think yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. The Roman now is the major population in the world. Yeah, it is the largest. But what he means hmm. is, it hmm. is the largest religion. So they are technically the largest believers. Okay. So, uh, so we are the largest believer, and all of us we are Romans. So those who they are living in Mexico right now. No, it's because at the time, at the time, they were associated as Christian. For example, if I. Hmm. The state of Saudi Arabia is known mm. as a Muslim state. Mm. Not everyone is Muslim, mm. 
but they are it's a muslim state mm. like pakistan not everyone in pakistan is muslim but the su it has sunnah my friend sunnah don't fool yourself he did not even talk about christians he don't talk about religion he said the rome the the, Ro the roman they will be the major population where are you getting this from you just asked me the same question i answered no it. i did not you did not answer he made a claim he made a claim that the roman will be the major population now by the way still even if we are the christians we are not the major population still you are getting your profit busted because the major no, no, population no. The yes largest, yes yes thing. yes we are not we are not because it's still we are not the major population in the world that is a stupid of you to say largest my friend faith. Listen, no largest let me ask religion. you no he did not say the largest he said the major population of the world the major population of the world the major population of the world and he says if when this happened we will the judgment day will come what do you um, say? Mm. I'm not sure then. Mm. Let us go to something else. Your prophet, he said that if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have, uh, the, uh, sorry, the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. And if the women have, the men have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Do you agree with him? Uh, to be honest, I don't know if that's true or not. Mm. Suddenly you do I not know. So you think really that orgasm have to do with the baby will become a boy or a girl? It might have. It, ah, might, be. it might have. It must be true. Absolutely. Okay. No, what, I'm not. <laughs> okay. What about the Quran saying? Let, us, let it go. Let it go. No problem. What about your prophet saying in the Quran that Allah, he made the baby from a sperm and the sperm will turn to be a congealed blood. What do you think about that? Uh, sorry, repeat it. What do you think? The baby is made from a sperm and the sperm will turn to be a congealed blood, which means dead blood. What do you say about that? Um, I don't agree. I don't, I know that I don't agree with that. That doesn't sound right. Mm, so you, are you out of Islam now? No, because, this no, is Islam. no, because you might, it might be a different interpretation. My friend, this is not interpretation. This is Quran. I am not giving interpretation. Yeah, but not everything you not everything in the Quran can be interpreted as it says uh, oh so you are it, saying the Quran says something but he means something else since when this is happening it says it clearly no, it's, it's talking, this is not this is not metaphorical my friend it says it clearly we made the sperm into a clot is the sperm metaphorical maybe at the time they called um, no problem tell me what is the metaphorical of a sperm let me think let me think. i think maybe it's an ice cream <laughs> maybe he meant cheese maybe it's by a metaphorical of watermelon any, by clot it could be any substance that's uh thick i don't uh, know i'm not i'm not talking about the clot yet let's talk one by one the sperm what the sperm metaphorical of of what of watermelon maybe you can't you can't you can't make a metaphor out of you could but you could. not in this case ah, not in this case thank you very much so this is not in, in this case so we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood do you agree with such a stupid statement that the sperm will transform into a dead blood and then the blood that the blood will become a baby i think the clot is talking about the um, mm. uh, uh -huh. mm, squeeze it <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I'm not sure too. No, 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 no. Now you are not sure. I am not sure. We need two more. I'm not sure we can play cards. That's wonderful. So what are you sure about in Islam? And we can go there. As long as each time I mention something to you, you say, I'm not sure. Give me something you are one thing you are sure from in Islam. I think I'm sure, uh, mm. as I said, the uh, mm. prophecies. Like in what? Islam. Like what? Prophecies of the end times. Like what? Here we go. He said He claimed that the moon is split and the judgment day is near or it started, but nothing happened and there's no moon split. This is a false prophecy. Muhammad, he saw an eclipse. He thought that this is the end of the time. How do you explain this stupidity here? This is eclipse. Uh, the moon split. Um... Hmm. What happened? We the don't moon... know. That's the thing. We don't know. What do you bro? mean we don't know? Uh, no, the moon is there, my friend. No, no, we know the moon it. is there. What happened? Allah, He changed His mind. He started the judgment day, and then He said, "I'm not going to do it right now. I will, I will delay." He just said the moon is split, a sign of a judgment day. So Allah, by Allah what, what? the moon, it might be. I think it's, um, mm -hmm. it's a way of saying He shortened the time of day in order to do something. Yeah, but the moon is split, my friend. But there's no moon is split because in the in the in the sense that. Um, in the, the time of the, the 
the, the time of uh, of night got shortened. Ah, the moon is split. It's mean the time of yeah. the night shortened. I mean, you know what? You are a philosopher, man. Do you know a flaton? Where do you get this from? Where do you get this from? Listen, I'm not sure. I'm not. Uh, I don't. Okay. You I see, each time I say to you, give me something you are sure from. You are not sure. Here we go. You said to me a, a prophecy. This is this is a poppy prophecy. Muhammad do not know his God. Do not know how the baby is created. Okay. Muhammad. Let, okay. Let, let me ask, ask you. Let, let me ask let, you a question. Let, no, no. Let me let, let me let me share something with you. Do you do you go to the beach? The beach. Yeah. Uh, no, not really. You never. You never been in the beach. I have been. I have been. Yes. You know that's thank God you are, you went in the beach before because now that would make my mission uh, easier. So have you ever seen in the beach women wearing hair swimming suit and she have balls in her breast? What what are you what? Balls balls instead of having balls. boobs breast yeah she had you balls. Mean her chest like breast, yeah in her yeah. chest she have a breast testicles yeah yeah have yeah. you ever seen a woman she have that in your life? Uh, a woman's breast. No, a woman balls. Do you have? Do, have you ever seen when you go to the beach, women she have balls in her chest? In her chest. I don't know if you're talking about breasts or something else. Balls, balls. You know the man have balls. Yeah. Okay. Do women have a balls in their chest? Uh, no. no. Uh, don't tell me no. I'm not sure. Please don't tell me I'm not sure because each time <laughs> I say to you something, you say I'm not sure. So are you sure this time or not? Yeah, I'm sure they don't have. Thank balls. God, he is sure that women they have no balls. That's wonderful. I was afraid you would say I'm not sure too. The Quran in front of you, no, chapter eighty-six. Tissue, hold on, there is tissue, chapter there is tissue chapter eighty-six, verse number seven. It says that the man have a sperm coming from his backbone, and the women they have testicles in their ribs. Explain that to me. Testic women have what? Testicles Where? in their ribs. Between the nose. Hmm. Wait, what does it say they have testicles in their ribs? It says that there is a gushing fluid coming from the backbone of the man and the location of the necklace of the women. So your God claiming that women, they have a sperm, which is a mistake. Secondly, it's coming from the location of the necklace, which means they have breast testicles in that location because it's the one who makes the, the sperm is testicles. In your nation, uh, in your nation, how the sperm is made? Like in manufacture, you buy it with the, you buy you buy it from a supermarket. Where the sperm is made? Made in them in a in a in a testicles, correct? Uh, not wait, sure. Me... I am not sure. No, no, it's not that. But there must be hmm. an explanation. Must be. This is the explanation yeah. in front of you. <laughs> I'm showing you the explanation, my friend. This is Tafsir Jalalain. You can open any explanation you want. This is the explanation. Okay, yeah, I can't answer. I don't know. I okay, don't know. you are not sure, maybe. I can't answer. I, no, yeah, no. I'll, let us I'll make admit, it look nicer. I'll admit I don't it. want. You, I don't want you in the front of the people to look at you down. Let us say I'm not sure. Not sure, not nicer. You say I do not know. It's not really nice. So let us say I am not sure because I that... admit I can't. I don't know how. I don't hmm. have an answer. I so, don't... Okay, so you know nothing about Islam. So why you are a Muslim? It's not nothing. It's not about these things. It's uh, so. What makes you a Muslim? What, is, what make you a, what, these what, things? what make you a Muslim? Because Allah will give you a lot of vagina can you, can in heaven. Can you explain everything in the Bible? I can. Sure. Why not? I can. But but why you are changing the topic? Is it, are you sure or is it why not? I'm very sure. Very sure, brother. Very sure. Why not? Did did God? Uh, did mm. Jesus mm. in uh, John? Uh, I think it's John chapter four, verse twenty-four. Mm. Not say that worship worship my father instead of me. So you, so you just admit that there is father, right? <clears throat> no, no, I'm in the Bible. It says no problem, no problem. It. Okay, you just say it. Can you read the verse for me so we can we can uh, 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 so uh, maybe John I can say to you I'm not sure too. Four twenty. Well, let me see. Uh... God is spirit and there's worship as much as worship. Hmm. Wait. Search Google. Prophet Google is good. Yeah, I'm looking for the verse. Hmm. You said chapter four? 
Uh, it's not. Uh, it's. I think it's chapter four, but it's not twenty four. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. Sorry. In, Ma in Matthew twenty one, verse. Uh, so it's not chapter in John. Twenty one. No, chapter no. seven, verse twenty one. Okay. So it's not in in. Uh... Not John. Sorry. No. 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 Yeah. So Matthew twenty one. Yeah. In what verse you say it? Uh. Chapter 7, verse 21. Chapter 7, verse 21. Oh, okay, what it says there? Go ahead. Hmm? Uh, sorry, it's a bit slow. It says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, right? Let me look for it. Hold on. Hmm. No problem, no problem. It says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father. Say to me, what? God, God. Which means there's many people who worship me, they will go to heaven. But there is some, mm. some who say to me too, Lord, Lord, yet they will not go to heaven. Why? Because they are not the the will of my father. As simple as that. You Muslim, you say to us, where Jesus said, I'm God, worship me. Here we go. He just said, not everyone says to me, Lord, but, Lord. No, 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 but the thing is, he also says, worship, uh, worship my father and not me. Where it says that? Show me. Here we go. This is a chapter 7, verse number 21. Where it says, Worship my father, not me. Uh, Don't tell me you're not sure. Please, come on. I, I will commit suicide if you keep saying that to me. <laughs> okay, look like you are not sure, my friend. Anyway, keep listening to us. And no, maybe, I'm looking for the, uh, the, the, verse, the we, we can show you the verse in the front of us in the screen. Hold on, let me let me get the verse for you. I did not look for it because it's a it's a, it's a silly argument, but we can look for it and put it on the screen. Hold on. Hmm. It's not because it's known that Christians worship uh what you, it got, Jesus himself said worship the father and not me. My friend, don't tell me something. I know that much. don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Don't you are not sure about anything. Suddenly you are an expert in the Bible. All right. Let's put the screen. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> this is the verse in the front of us. It says, Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Who enter the kingdom of the heaven but whoever does the will of my father so people they have to say and they will worship Jesus but not everybody which mean many they will say to him we worship you but they will enter heaven but there is some they will not why because they're hypocrite many they will say to me in that day my Lord have we prophesied in your name people don't prophesy in the name of a prophet my friend people prophesy in the name of God that additional proof Jesus said he is God the, that, I don't think I don't ag agree with that because um, mm. you, if you can, you can because you can. Uh, can you prophesy in the name of Muhammad? Can you prophesy? Can you prophesy? Can you, prof can you prophesy in the name of Muhammad? I can say Muhammad taught us this. This, this is not this. what I'm saying. Prophesying. Do you know what prophesying mean? That yes. means God, He taught me. God taught oh, me. So yeah, I prophesy right. in your yeah, name. You're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. It's, I'm glad you did not say I'm not sure. So you prophesy in the name of Jesus. That means Jesus is their God. So we prophesy in your name. And in your name, we cast demon and have done many mighty work, which means miracle in your name. In the name of Jesus, people, they can do miracles. And then I will confess to them, I have never known you. Remove yourself far from me your work of evil why because they are those people they are not praising the Lord with their heart but they are praising them with his tongues they are hypocrites they are using the name of the Lord just for their own glory so so Jesus and God are one yeah our God is one my friend there's nothing because called Jesus and God is one our God is one so Jesus and God are the same uh, Jesus entity. is our God not Jesus and God you keep saying Jesus and God Jesus is our God okay hmm. Okay, now, so on the who did Jesus pray to? The, we believe in the Trinity. 
the son he prayed to the father speak to the father so God prayed to himself no this is the, the, the word of prayer here in the in the Bible does not mean to pray as a praying as, as, as people they take it but the the son he always in communication with the father so praying here like this say even even if you say it as a prayer as the, the way we know it that will not be a problem for us as a Christian because we believe in the Trinity and the Trinity is a three person but one God so the son is speaking to the father is not a contradiction for the Trinity but in the Quran we see that Allah he pray but we do not know Allah he pray for no, 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 no. Then that doesn't make sense. That the explanation that doesn't, doesn't make, make no. That because doesn't make sense for you because for me it makes Jesus sense. Jesus not worship. No, Jesus no. Jesus not pray to to God. Who was he praying to? Them? My friend. What does the, okay, Jesus the Bible, said? He, Jesus said that my Father he glorify me. So here we go. The Father himself he glorified Jesus. So Jesus glorified the Father in a prayer, and the Father glorified Jesus in the words too. So here we go. The Father he glorified Jesus. So he's glorifying himself. Yes, glorifying himself, but he's the person here. This is a person in the earth. He's telling them why. Why, you, why does he glorify him? Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you how he glorify him. Jesus, what is the need? Hold on, he's hold God. on, Mister. I am. Need. Hold on, Mister. I'm not sure. I am a person uh, in front of you. I am a person in front of you in a, in a form of a man. So Jesus is saying to them, the one you see him now is not, you know, because you are wondering how this person he's saying he forgives sin, how he's saying he promised them heaven. Who is he? He's just a man. So he's saying to them, my father glorify me and everything I have is from my father. So he's telling them, it is not the man who is doing this. It is God in this man. So this is what we believe in, that God came to us in a person of a man, in the flesh of a man. So the, my father glorify me by his miracles, by his power, by his glory, by his decency. I am a perfect. I commit no sin. So this is how the so, father. So Jesus is just a body. It's not about just a body, my friend. You see, you are being funny now. Just a body. God, he yeah, appeared. No, we don't care for the body. You are you are focusing on the body. Jesus said, before Abraham I am, which means before there's a body, he was existed still. The body is just a form to appear before 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 of us because nobody can see God and live. That's what the Bible teach. Because the God, our God is so glorious, and because of that, you cannot see him and live. So it's like it's like suddenly you are in the front of the sun and very close to the sun you will be burned you will be demolished in a second so god he humbled himself he came to us in the flesh of a man so when we speak about god we are not talking about second god and third god god himself came to us in a man as a man and the man here is saying ah this is my father the man in front of you nothing he have of his own but it is my father on me when they said to him show us the father and that's it he said you i am with you all this time and you do not know me the one who saw me, he saw the Father. So Jesus is explaining even to his disciples, when you see me, you see the Father. Yes, I am a man in front of you, but don't you see what I can do? I can resurrect people from death. I can heal the leper. I can make the blind see. I can control nature. So I am man, but yet in the same time, I am God. So all what the message of Jesus is trying to explain to us, why he is our Lord, we should worship. You are not worshiping the man on me. You are okay. worshiping God. I hear. Okay, me. I hear you. What you say? It's. Uh, I still. I, I under. I, I still don't fully understand, but I. I get. I kind of get what you're saying. No problem, my friend. If you could not understand even the testicle thing, you would understand this. I don't know what's what. What I, what I can say, but, but, <laughs> uh, but the the problem is you 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 are trying to impact the image of a man, but you forget what Jesus can do. And you try to impact that Jesus, he is praying to the Father, and then how God he speak to himself. I just okay, showed okay. you, I, ju the... I just showed you, I just showed you. Allah says in the name of Allah, and then you do not know what to say. You said, I have no understanding. Because Muslims, you see, we as a Christians, we have a deep understanding of the Bible, but you Muslims, you have no understanding of anything, you just believe in something you do not know. No, I'm just uh, there are scholars. Who There's scholars? No understand. scholars can answer me. I change any scholar to answer me. Do you know any scholar he can call me and, 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 and debate me? Have uh... you ever met one? Me personally, uh, I can't give you their contact, but I know. Okay, I want you to do me a favor. What about you call all the people you know who they claim they have knowledge to call me? No, what do you think? Listen, listen. On the, on the cross, on the cross. Hmm. Who did who did G, uh, who was Jesus talking to just before dying? He was quoting the Old Testament. Quoting what? The Old, the Old Testament. Testament. This is a, this is a prophecy, you know prophecy about him that it says my lord my lord why you forsaking me rabbi rabbi so this is jesus quoting saying to them and this is why he said after that it's completed which means all the prophecies about me is completed today 
Mm. Are you good? So this is not Jesus is saying what you think. It is a prophecy in the book of in, in, in the Old Testament, the book of Psalm. It, 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 it mentioned that uh, uh, there's many prophecies. Actually, all the Bible mentioned prophecies about Jesus and Jesus all his life during the, his life on earth. He was quoting to the Jews every day a prophecy about him. So this is not something new suddenly happened. When Jesus he asked the Jews, what do you say? You know, what do you say about the Messiah? They said he is son of David. He said to them, if he is son of David, then how David he called him God, my God, my God. So same here, Jesus he called from the from the book of Psalm 22 that this is what is mentioned about me. It's exactly what they what you learn about me. Many prophets explain about me, and now it's time for you to know that this is me, the one you are waiting for. You're just a crucified the Messiah. Okay. All right. Okay. Do you see the screen? Yeah, I see your screen now. Yeah. This is something mentioned long time before Jesus was a crucified. Jesus is quoting it exactly word by word. Do you see it? You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, my friend, for calling. I hope we will get some Muslims. Uh, keep listening you are a nice guy I, I have to admit you are not a bad uh, person not rude you don't shout you don't scream you don't call names and um, uh, feel free to contact me again if you have any questions in the future all right wait, wait one sec one sec one second what I'm not sure if I can talk to you for one second <laughs> are you sure and you can talk to me for one second I'd like to ask you uh, one more question hmm. is it harder question I don't know. Can we make it easy, please? Is uh, about the authenticity of the Bible. How much it has been corrupt? Hmm. How much being corrupt? That's a good question. My friend, we have tens of thousands of manuscripts, and you have a book, you have a zero manuscript. Because do, do listen, you, listen, listen, do to you not, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Do you not have bad Bibles who say different things or in the no, same No, this is uh, translation. Passage. No, this is translation. Translation. I can make a translation now of my own. And Christians won't accept it. It's if it's false. So we have many translation, but we have the, the the manuscript. We have the Greek, we have the Hebrew, and we have the Aramaic. There's no book in the world have manuscript as much as the Bible as to prove what the Bible is about. No okay, book why in the did world. They say different things. This is translation. Both two English Bibles. No translation. Who, who care? I mean, they, they, if I show you right now, uh, uh, Yosef Ali says different from uh, Shakir. Do you want me to show you? Go on. Any any verse for me? Choose any verse you want for me. Which one? Not from the Bible. No, from the Quran. Every uh, verse in the Quran, the translation changed. Do the su do the surah. That, as an example, if we go if we go to uh, the the verse in the Quran says beat them, beat the women. Did you hear about it before or no? Not sure. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't mean it doesn't say beat them. Really. How you get that? I mean, yes, it does. It does. It does, but hmm. it's not in the way you. So think. why everyone says different, different translation? What do you mean? Why every Muslim translator he give us different translation? If this is the same verse, as an example, this guy here he have first, he have next, he have beat them lightly. Okay. Where in the where in the Quran it says beat them lightly? Where it says next? Where it says first? Where it says third? Where it says lightly? I cannot find well, that's, that's not the Quran's fault. That's people how they how they interpret it. That's not this is not interpretation, fault. it's translation. That's what I'm saying to you. So the Bible can be many, they say the version. There is no other translation. Listen, listen, it's listen. One. No, there is a translation. There's no the Quran Where? is not one. No, the Quran is not one. The Quran is not first of all, is not one. Your even your prophet he said, Allah he sent him Quran, seven Quran. Don't you know that? Mm, no, 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 I don't believe that. You don't believe in that. That's mean you, you are accusing your prophet to be a liar. I'm accusing, accusing you of being a liar. I don't well, let think me show you then. Here wrong. we go. Let me show you. I don't. You cannot accuse me to be a liar, my friend. You cannot. I'm a Christian prince. You cannot challenge you. Here we go. Read with me. So you're a prophet saying that Allah, prophet, he asked Allah to send him seven Quran because his people are a bunch of idiots and they cannot understand the Quran if it's one Quran. Read with me carefully. Wait, do you, do you see it? The... Ibn Umar? Yeah, yeah, mm. I see it. Yeah, mm. all those hadith are correct and authentic. Wait, wait. 
and Muhammad he asked Allah to ask him more because my people are not capable your prophet is doing bazaar with his God read with me carefully Allah and Jibreel came to Muhammad and said to him Allah has committed you commanded you to recite your people the Quran in one dialect upon this he said I ask Allah from further from forgiveness my people are not capable of doing it which means they are a bunch of idiots they cannot do that then he came the second time and Allah said to him I commanded you to recite the Quran in two dialect the Prophet he said to him come on what are you doing man they cannot do that upon this the Holy Spirit, uh, Prophet said I seek burden from Allah and forgiveness my people are not would not be able to do so still his people are even three Quran now and still people are stupid they will not understand it then Jibreel no, but said, the Bible is also more than one language my friend my friend this is the, don't don't be stupid now listen here we notice that your Quran in one language why Allah need to say send seven Quran in seven Arabic languages explain to me seven what seven Arabic seven Arabic Quran they are different why no, because there's a, at first there were different dialects. I mean, one different dialect. Are, this is the city of Quraysh. This is a small world. town. The small town. The total population is not even two thousand. What do you mean seven dialect? What are you talking about? When when were they small given town? Out? Muhammad, he live in a small town. They have seven yes, dialect in yes. one town. When did they write them? When? 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 What do you mean when they write them? Are you saying to me that Allah He sent the Quran after Muhammad He died? No. Okay, so why he needs seven dialect and why people can't understand it in one dialect? Wait, what is this? Why does it say seven? It Where? says seven. Don't are you are you what's wrong with you? It says seven in one front of you. A... Do you see it? It says seven in front of you. What's wrong with you? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm. So why why we need seven Quran? Where and where is the seven Quran? Where we can find the seven Quran? If Muhammad saying that even his maybe, people, maybe maybe all the sevens may. My friend, my friend, listen, 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 listen. If the Arab themselves cannot understand the Quran in seven Quran, how a Pakistani guy will understand the Quran in one Quran? Arab cannot understand the Quran in one Quran. Do you see your prophet saying, "My people are not capable"? He keep repeating that. My people are not capable. What does that mean? They cannot handle it. They are not. They are stupid. They are silly. Yeah, they are... Well, what's wrong with that? Okay, so he's saying my people are donkeys, and How they cannot. How many languages does the Bible was the Bible first made in? That's Greek, three, Aramaic. Three, three, actually more. Greek, Ar Ar Aramaic, and Hebrew, and there is even in the, yeah. in, the in the Coptic language, and there's in the Ethiopian language, and there's an Indian language. So this is not a question now. The Bible is given in many because the Lord, the Messiah, he made he made his disciples speak languages. And the Lord Himself, He speaks language, not like your God. He speaks only Arabic. So now here we notice how stupid this statement is. Allah He sends seven Quran, but we cannot find them. Secondly, the Arab cannot handle the Quran with one Quran. So how the Arab they are handling the Quran today with one Quran? And how you, who is not an Arab, he can handle the Quran if the Arab themselves cannot understand the Arabic to the point he needs seven Quran. Mm -hmm. Please don't tell me I'm not sure. No, I'm not saying that, but uh... isn't it obvious this is stupid? How you you if the Arab themselves those are Arab, I am an Arab, and the, uh, Muhammad saying I, I cannot handle the Quran and I cannot understand the Quran in one dialect, in one Arabic language. So send us more, and Allah keeps sending more as if it's a bazaar. It's like a pizza guy. Please more. Uh, three pieces is not enough. We don't, four pieces not enough. Five pieces not enough. Seven pieces. So seven pieces of the Quran. And until now, the Muslim even until now they don't understand the Quran. So how you read the Quran as one Quran, but when there is seven, and Muhammad is the one saying you, they are not capable, and you are the I'm one saying, who don't speak Arabic. I'm saying maybe the present Quran is the combination of the seven. Uh, My friend, the that... present. If you say to me the Quran, the present Quran is a combination. It's mean you accepted that to say to me that the Quran is a corrupt because you cannot make a combination. You Why? have to because here we go. He said there's seven. Allah did not make a combination. You cannot change the word of Allah. You give it as it is. What I take one kilo from here, five kilo from here. This would be stupid of you to say, my friend. That is an insult to your God. Because if God He gave you a book as it is, you 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 keep it as it is. What is the first verse Muhammad received when he became a prophet? Do you remember? Sir? What is the first thing Allah He said to Muhammad when He told him you are a prophet? <clears throat> uh no. Iqra. Is that correct? He said to him, Read. Read. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But this is not, this is chapter 96. 
how would chapter one became 96 is the Muslims keep the Quran as it is uh, that's because the Quran is not it's a weird order but thank you very much uh, so the Muslim they play with the Quran and they change even the order no, so no, what, it's not necessarily this different no it's necessarily it's necessarily if God gave it to you it. listen corruption Wrong. is the Quran says you if you change the location of the verses you corrupt the book the Quran says that not me so when you change anything from its location you are corrupting the book so who is the one who allow you to change the location of the verses? The place of the Jews, they were those who displace words from their right places. They change the location of the words. And if you take a verse and you place it in different place, that is a corruption according to the Quran. So how you allow that yourself? As an example in the Quran, it says to us, that Allah today He completed Islam for us. What today? This is in the first in the beginning of the Quran. Mm. How that can be? Read carefully with me. Yes. <clears throat> this is one of the most funny, stupid verses in the Quran. Chapter 5, verse number 3. It says 5, verse number 3. This is in the beginning of the Quran. Look what it says here. Read carefully with me, please. This day, this day, have, uh, sorry, uh, this day, sorry, here. This day, have I perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and chosen Islam to be your religion. This is a verse to be accurate, should be a last verse in the Quran. Because that's mean, Hey, all the verses after it, there's no need for them. It's completed. This time is completed. Yes, I agree. Yes. Okay. So obviously somebody corrupt the Quran. But no, there's no no verses were added. My friend, what do you mean? But this is a verse should be at the end of the Quran. If you change the location, you just screwed the book. It's like you are reading an. Uh, well, because we're no, still my, able my friend, to, my friend. You can still if you are watching a movie, if, if you are order. hold on, if you are watching a movie. And then Sylvester Stallone says, I killed them all and we are done. And thank you very much for watching. And then after that, the movie star starts. I mean, this is stupid. No, so that's a bad example. That's a bad example. That's a bad example of you, my friend. You are trying to yeah. be stubborn. This is cannot be in the beginning of the Quran. Whoever put it there is a stupid idiot. This is the last statement of Muhammad should be at the end of the Quran. You don't put it here. How you say I perfected the religion for you, but it is not done yet. You want to be stubborn? In the it is done. What that? What makes it not done? Not done because this is in the beginning of the Quran. You are reading after. This is as long as you are reading many verses well, and tons and of verses. It doesn't matter. It's still it does matter. It does matter because this is, who is the who is the one who allow you to change the location and put it here? Did, did Allah says to you put it here? If Allah gave it to Muhammad the last verse, who are you to put it here? Uh, Allah didn't say. Oh God didn't say you. You you may put it here or there. Well, ah, so we, so you are saying to me, we Muslim, we can play in the Quran. We can take Al Fatiha, put it at the end. We can put whatever. We can ch change verses, or we can play with it. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, yeah, no, you just, it. you just say that. Then you tell uh, me who is the one who gave you the authority to change the location of this verse? Put it here. Okay, to be honest, I don't know. Okay, thank you. Not sure. As, as oh, of now, that's it. To be honest, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. To be honest, I am, I am not sure. I do not know. To be honest, your Bible is corrupt. Even the Quran confirm our Bible. You, even your prophet, he swear by our Bible. You see, they say to you, those idiots, they say to you that the, the, the king of the Roman, he gathered all the priests and he forced them to sign. But the king of the Roman is not in control of India. There's one of the older Christian churches in India. It's an Orthodox church by the Apostle Thomas same as the Ethiopian they are not controlled by you cannot control the Christian this they scattered around the world they went to areas there's no Roman in it they never have Roman there and they established their churches so how you can make all the Christians agree it's impossible and it's stupid to believe in that First of all, there's no believers will accept somebody to force them to believe in something.
you cannot you cannot force people to believe in false if somebody now call me yes Muhammad how are you are you there hello how are you yes Muhammad how are you doing I'm fine I want to ask about uh, one verse in uh, the Bible can we discuss I, I, it I, I do not know the Bible I am illiterate why you, you, know it. you don't want to tell me about the Quran you don't want to tell me about the Quran why are you ashamed of the Quran let's discuss this verse in the Bible then we can discuss the Quran you do not know okay. your Quran okay let us do this prove to me that you can answer let's about the Quran discuss. and I will answer you about okay. the Bible Prove let's, to me that you're discuss. because it's going to be very stupid if you do not know your religion and then you oh. want to discuss with me oh. my religion. Let's discuss. It's not. It's not. Up, it's not up to you. My program here is about the Quran and the Muslim trying to divert my topic because they are afraid. This is the whole idea. No, I will discuss the Quran. Actually. Let me ask you a question: Is the Bible is corrupt? One, one, one. No problem. No problem. Just are are you? Is your question to prove to me that the Bible is corrupt? Yes or no? No. No. Okay, what is your question about? Go ahead. <clears throat> in uh, in, in uh, John 7, 17, three, mm -hmm. uh, where he said, and this is, and uh, Jesus, Jesus said, and this is the eternal life, mm -hmm. that they may know you, the only true God, and mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Mm -hmm. Here, Jesus he says that the Father is okay, the only true is, God. This is John chapter what? 17, three. Seven, what? 17. Uh, 17. 17 right yes okay is that the only verse you like or the the whole chapter i want to discuss this verse we, we cannot discuss a verse unless we end up discuss the whole chapter the whole chapter is saying that jesus is god so why uh, you choose only hold on why you choose this only this verse no 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 you see this is hypocrisy you muslims when we show hold on hold on you see how, you see how the hypocrisy of the muslims if we quote for them if we quote for them a verse from the quran they say you are taking it out of context correct Give me the context and, and, and the contact uh, in the chapter. The holy chapter is speaking about yes. Jesus, so you, it's not up to you. It's not up to you to say what this chap, what this verse is saying. Only the verse that so the whole chapter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When we, when we, when so hold on, hold on. Oh, are you saying Jesus is lying? Hold on, hold on. You are the liar. When he said don't, the don't, Lord, don't insult, yeah. don't insult the Christ when you speak to me. Otherwise, I will get you busted. I will smash you. Be careful. Jesus believe in one God. Listen, you listen, believe? listen. Yes, Jesus believe in one God, and that is Him. He said, "Me but and the Father is one." Jesus, He believe in one God. Say. Jesus believe in one God. Shut up! And He said, but, "The one who saw Me, He saw the Father." I want you to tell me when Jesus, when they ask Him to show the God, the Father, He said, "The one you see Him, He, he saw the Father." Explain that to me, Your Majesty. Stick to this verse. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. You see why I say Muslims are, are certified donkey? Who are you to say it's to me, stick to this? Donkey. This is a book. This is a book. It's not a verse. We do not learn about Jesus from by a verse, you idiot. The same as you do not learn about your God by a verse, you idiot. I say so the only don't is stop being a stupid. You don't you don't speak about Jesus because of a verse. We speak about Jesus about what he said or what he said, explain not only me, a verse. Me this verse. I just did. This I just did. I just did. I just what? did. I just you did wish, uh, Abdul Abdul this let, let, I, I will force you to listen to the Bible and that would be humiliating for you alone oh, and then I will ask hold on shut, shut up shut up guys listen to this John and let us laugh these words spake Jesus Jesus is and shut up. up his eyes shut to up. heaven and said father the hour is come glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee as thou hast given him did you hear Jesus saying <clears throat> that the father glorified the son yes or no Yes, th this okay. is proof that the Jesus doesn't have the glory of his Hold on, hold on. No, it says he glorified the no, Father and it. shut up, you idiot. You see, you're a coward. You're a coward. Does it say that the Father glorified the Son, yes or no? Yes, because okay. the, the Son doesn't have the glory. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, no, my friend. And then the this Son, just to show you how stupid what you just said, you just said because the Father, he glorified the Son, that's mean the Son does not have a glory, correct? Yes, but doesn't say there that the son also may glorify the, the father you idiot That's mean the father don't have a glory too. This is how donkey you are That, that you give me Abdul a, Abdul no, I Abdul you stop me. playing games you are the, the I, you, you, you brought a shame for yourself You brought a shame it's to a yourself and look Bible. look here. The, look. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on the verse, the, the, the oh, anything? shut up. Let me answer you. Hmm? Let me answer you. You just, you just prove to us that Jesus is God. 
for the no. father himself he glorified Jesus who glorify who he, he needed shut up let me answer let me I'm not I'm not finished explanation when we say that God glorify me that's mean I am not a person like anyone God himself glorify me who is me who is me to be glorified everybody glorify God nobody glorify anyone except God all man all kind all creatures glorify God it's not God who glorify them so he's saying to them I glorify my father and my glorify will glorify me for we are one so when I glorify my father I'm glorifying myself I'm saying to you who I am in the same time you say to me also as though has given me given him power of over the flesh that he should give eternal life who is the one who have the power over the flesh my friend that is Jesus did you see it how dare you no, Muslim? That's, that's Hold on. How dare you Muslim? You say to us where Jesus said where Jesus said I am God worship me and Jesus here He announced to you that he have the power of over creatures. Does it say that? So what how he can do that unless he is God and then he says and he should give eternal life How how Jesus can give eternal life explain to me because the father give him this power thank you very the much father so he him. have the power of the father so jesus is saying to them the man in front of you is not what he is you should worship it is god in this man i am him i am him do you are looking at the man you are wondering why this man is, is forgiving sin you are wondering why this man is a promising us eternal life for i have everything given to me the man in front of you is god word in this man and here we see he says shut up shut up listen and then he said that oh shut up the son of the devil let me let me let me rebuke the the devil inside you listen carefully over all flesh that he should give eternal life to his answer shut up glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee as thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many how jesus can give eternal life abdul my friend who did how jesus, jesus can jesus give eternal life god cannot how jesus can give angels. eternal life so i'm asking you who is jesus, jesus if jesus if jesus is just a man how he can give eternal can your prophet muhammad give eternal life my prophet is not good Thank you very much. So Jesus is God. You see, you see, just stupid. You see, I think you just got yourself busted. You just shut yourself. I said to you, Jesus, give eternal life. You said to me, I said to you, can your prophet give eternal life? You said, my my prophet is not God. So you should admit that Jesus is God. I mean, do you notice the stupidity? He just shut himself. <laughs> don't call me. Don't call me. This is this is a different guy. You just admitted. That Jesus God I said to you Jesus give eternal life can your prophet give eternal life what he said well my prophet is not God so thank you very much this is how stupid you are you are calling me to prove to me that Jesus is not God and then the verses you quote for me yourself it's proving that Jesus is God stupid you see I feel sorry for Allah he got the worst IQ, low IQ people following him and then they try to defend him and look at this horrible mascara <laughs> Jesus he give eternal life why how he can do that oh because simply he's God he this is what Abdul he said thank you for saying that even him power over all flesh is come glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee as thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him and this is life eternal that they might know thee the only true god and jesus christ whom thou hast sent i have glorified thee on the earth i have finished the work which thou gavest me to do and now o father Glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. 
for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one, as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldst take them out of the world, but that thou shouldst keep them from I am not of this world. Did you hear it? Isn't it Jesus said, I am not from this world, I am from above? And the city Muslim, they say to us, show us, show us one verse saying, Jesus said, I am God, worship me. Just one, just one, just one. Show me, show me, show me. The evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sake. Jesus, he can send messengers. Even the Quran confirmed that, that the three messengers were sent to the city of Antioch. The first one is Paul. The second one is John. The third one is Peter. How Jesus is a messenger, but he can make you a messenger. Messengers cannot make you a messenger. Only God can send you as a messenger. I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glory which thou gavest me I have given them, that they may be one even as we are one, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world, before the foundation of the world. Did you hear it, guys? What is given to Jesus? Before, before the foundation the, of the world. Listen carefully. Which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. I mean, Abdul, keep busy asking your prophet about how to shave your private part, how you can understand such a glorious teaching. You are a person who follow a book saying, we inspire the bees to eat from the fruits. Silly, stupid talk. The bees don't eat from the fruits. They don't. <laughs> the Quran teach that the bees, they shit honey and they eat apples. This is what happened when you are following a silly religion. You became disconnected to quality teaching. You have a prophet who keep teaching you about how to shave your private part, how to use the three rocks. This is why you cannot handle to hear Jesus speaking. And you are telling me, show me where Jesus, I am God, worship me. My friend, 
I did not really want it to stay long. I just wanted to have a program just to say to all of you Happy New Year and to advise you that to start the new year with something glorifying the Lord and not to be a person, silly person who spend the night or the day of the new year shaking your ass and drinking beer. That is not the new year of the Lord. That will be the new year of the devil of Muhammad. We celebrate Jesus every day. But the new year remind us that the whole universe run by his name. Your salary is paid by his name. Your computer run by his date. Your watch, your clock. Everything you have around you. But that still did not make people enough ready to say that this is not about parties and this is not about drinking and this is not about going stupid and being crazy and this is not about having sex and doing drugs that will make it the night of the devil not the night of the Lord so if you are a Christian don't do what Muhammad do he says something he do something you say you are a Christian in the morning but you are following the devil at night the new year is not the night of lust is not the night of being a loser is not the night where you get in by rape or by drugs being dead overdose stay away from everything will make you lose your mind the Bible never said to you you can do that and this is not from God the new year is the new year of a Christ none in you not a new year of parties enjoy your life have fun enjoy your music even if you want to drink drink little the Bible says little of it bless your heart little so don't be a fool and don't be stupid if you do what the world is doing if you open your TV right now and you watch what people are doing in the new year you will see how many people are lost all the world don't be one of them you can be happy you can have fun nobody's saying to you don't have a dinner with your family enjoy your time have a good time wonderful time the Lord he like us to see happy our our Lord is a happy Lord we don't have a drama Lord like Muhammad who forbid the music actually the Bible says to glorify him by music sing for him and sing for yourself too. enjoy yourself God he created us to enjoy music this is why he made us when we hear music we enjoy it that's a gift don't make it a curse so my advice for all of you enjoy be happy but be smart don't be a foolish person don't be a foolish woman don't go and wear naked clothes and go on the street and then you wonder why at 4 a.m. in the morning somebody attack you when I rape you you made yourself a target you are drunk you are naked and you are inviting them to do what they need to do wrong time wrong place wrong clothes and you are not even aware of what's happening you are drunk and then why you wonder why somebody took you somewhere and he raped you and then you cry for the coming century of your life saying I've been raped why you put yourself in such a place when we go to a night club, what we expect to see in night club? Holy men of God, preachers, decent people, or people seeking sex and drugs and dancing and drinking and you know it. I mean, what you what you expect in such a, a place? Why you want to be there? And then two idiots who, who they are drunk here fight and they start shooting each other stay away from places does not fit for you once somebody asked me why have you ever been in a striptease club i said never he said why I said everyone he goes where he belong everyone goes where he belong so my friend go where you belong if you think you belong to the garbage go to the garbage but the bees goes to the flowers and roses and the fly go to the garbage and stinky 
you choose which one you want to be you want to be the bees or you want to be the fly the, look look at this beautiful bird look at him so watch yourself and be careful my friend and God will not be affected if you are a person who is going crazy it's you you will see you will pay the price drugs will not help you go and see all those rich filthy rich people they die because of drugs because they forgot about God they thought they are God now we have everything we have a lot of money we have a lot of a glory people worship us people take pictures with us people they shout when they see our they see us so they forget about God they forget that one day they will die they will put them in the box and they will put them in the ground and they will take nothing with them and they start taking drugs until they die in the elevator like a cat like a rat like a dog don't do that yourself the devil he tried to take you down in many ways the drugs alcohol money sex you name it you close a door he come to you from the other door even he might try even to come to you from the from the door of God this is why the Lord he said by his glorious wisdom many they will come to you in a close of a sheep but they are wolves so be vigilant and be aware not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father trust no man trust God only no priest no bishop no one no Christian prince for nobody is good but God and that is the Messiah he said to the man why you call me God why, why you call me good and you know that only God is good how you know I am the good one and then he said I am the good shepherd he is the good shepherd my friend and there's no one else can be our guidance I try my best with my humble me with my sin to be helpful for others and to share my experience in life but doesn't mean I'm better than you don't think I'm proud about myself to be someone like you are not all of us we are sinners and we have to be careful sin is very easy to accomplish good is very hard to do you can make uh, <clears throat> maybe 10 friends in 20 years really friends but you can lose them in two seconds always destroying is very easy you can spend your life building a house but destruction can happen over a second always evil is easy to happen and evil is more attractive a lot more attractive if you ask the world today now okay new year evening let us pray to the lord how many people want to pray and how many people want to shake their ass i think you know the answer why normally what What do you normally do New Year Eve, CP? It's not about New Year Eve, you know. Like it's like it's like you know we have a calendar and we go uh, uh, to to uh, let us say check out what we did, calculate what you did in the year in your life. The New Year is not really important, but the important for it or about it for me that two thousand. 1800 years ago but 18 years ago 2008 years ago the Messiah he came this is the important about it otherwise time goes and time is time is you know the time is exists for us not for God so celebrating the new year is not wrong but not to celebrate it to be stupid and to be ignorant and to be a donkey like many people they do destroy your life destroy your future and go to the wrong be careful my friend Destruction is very easy. And by the way, don't take me wrong. I like music. What's wrong with the music? It's not wrong. Be happy. But isn't it beautiful to have a New Year Eve with your family, people who you love, you trust in a place, not in a nightclub where people are naked, People are drinking like crazy. People, they might shoot each other over a fight over women. 
people taking drugs people smell sweat like crazy go and see what will happen in a few hours from now go and see today how many people will die just because of the stupidity so we do what is wise the the, the, the Bible all of it is teaching us about how to be wise my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance So don't be ignorant that's all do what is wise for you so i wish you all a very happy new year from around the world and i want to say thank you for those who support what i do those who make donation we really appreciate your help through the year and may the lord pay you back in his way and those who come here they download my videos and those who they subscribe and those who support what we do and we wish to the muslims to have a better year for your life my friend I pray that the, the Lord he will open the heart and the eyes of the Muslims and he will have them have the peace of Christ this is what they are missing in their life I pray that the Lord will provide you with his peace we we as a Christians we speak to you Muslims we don't hate you we will never hate you you might want to kill me you might hate me you want you might think I am your enemy I am not your enemy we love what God he gave us and you yourself you are a gift of God you yourself you are a creation of God so we love the Messiah because he made us love you if not him we will be enemy killing each other now if not him we will be aggressive like you taking knives and swords and killing otherwise killing is very easy if you think only ISIS can kill you are wrong if you think only them they have guns you are wrong being evil is so easy but being good is so hard so let us together Christians Muslims atheists Hindus all people in this earth seek what is right and I say to you what is right is what is written in my book what is my Lord he said to me love your enemy if all of us we practice one sentence of jesus christ teaching the whole world today will be different because then we will have no enemy we spend fortunes of our money just to defend system missiles airplanes security because nobody loves anybody no more because everybody is afraid of everybody everywhere if somebody came to your door you are worried who is he love your enemy my friend and that is the wise lord speaking to you and this is my message which delivered to me myself from my lord to you i share it with you so you muslims try it try to love your enemy even those who think they are enemy but they are not try and see how the lord will change your life so for all of you may the lord bless you all and I wish you the best year to come and Christ is Lord and everything else is false see you soon again bye bye